Okay. Uh, yesterday, I built the mall. However, I did notice some things that I did want to change to fix in this mall as well. So, to get people walking, I guess to get more people going to the parking lot, I completely forgot. I should have added uh, more crosswalks in between, so I changed the... N well, I'm starting this for now, but I've changed the node into a pedestrian walkway. Just to, I think, it will allow for more pass more people to actually park in this area and actually walk up into this portion, rather than them all coming here and parking here, because they like to do this. And also with that in mind, I believe... I think it's just how paths work. I... I think they like to walk on paths. If I were to do this, I think they would like to walk on the street as well. So I'm going to do the same for here. I'm going to convert this into a crosswalk. And... Hold on. Yeah, so what I was doing, I'm going to put this into a crosswalk. I'm actually going to put this as stop signs. Stop signs. Stop signs belong in a mall area, mall area. Put a stop sign here because there's a path right here from this parking lot, which I think work. Go and pause it, I think. Like here, one already parked closer. I don't know where it came from, but they can start to park closer and they can walk across the street, which is nice. And then having park only in the corners where there's a crosswalk and all the way over here, which is the next crosswalk. It's nice to have one somewhere in the middle. I really like these roads. They're really, really nicely designed. Oh, these nodes are too close. Um, however, I do believe this is locked. Yeah. Uh, I could lock it, and oh, I can't even drag it either. Yeah, I can't select this node. So I guess it's fine. However, you did just see a problem there. A truck just ran past the stop sign because the nodes are so close to each other. Oh, well, maybe I could lock it in. I can't do that, but the trucks will run it because the trucks are longer than a node. Fine, I guess he stops. Oh, I guess when they're coming to full speed, but I do kind of want to prevent that. So I'm just going to bring this forward a little bit just to make a little bit more space. Yeah, that they should park more in here now. Yeah, they're starting to park in here now. A lot better than before. You don't know. Yeah, this is good. Same here. I'm gonna do the same here, and right in the middle, which is perfect. Crossing. And maybe, maybe not. I don't think I'll add a road in the middle here. I think it's fine being this wide. This one was just too big of a gap. I put I had to put something between here. Now, this is the repaint. Repaint also going to change the color of the networks. I believe they're all one twenty-seven. Run there. But, uh, maybe... I do want this to parking lot to match, though. Match the rest of the roads. And I think... Fine. I will change them all. Separately, like, for this one color. Like, maybe a darker color road. Like, they're all just freshly paven. Might do that. Also, I've been thinking... About the idea... For this port over here. Not the port itself, but the bridge, I meant. 
don't know if I want this bridge to remain here, if I'm being honest. Like, I just went to sleep thinking, should I keep this bridge? Should I keep the Hellgate Bridge? Because uh, I will have this large viaduct throughout the entire place. I don't know if I would want to keep. I did think about forcing it underground. It will be easier to do if it's underground. Then it can come out from the ground instead of having it come from above at a really high height and coming wrapping all the way around. If we're underground, I could just make it run straight into this industry area rather than above ground. I really think I might make a tunnel over here, like this portion. I'll make a tunnel across and come over. And just kind of change this entire area. I, I really think this entire area, maybe even up to this road, yeah, it's already zoned, so maybe up to this road will be the entire industry area. It'll look nice. We'll have a bunch of industry buildings, but also trains as well. I might even just place a bunch of props for the trains, to be honest, like freight train stuff and stuff like that. That would look good. This is industrial island. This is industrial. It's industrial. The uh, question being, where will the houses be in this area? I don't want any house near this area. Maybe over here inland. However, if I do that, this train line seems almost redundant. Uh, so let's actually think about that. So maybe for this train, uh, it's just, it's a long line. I plan to make it 700 cars or 700 passengers, but this is the in this entire area will be industry. It'll stop here, but I don't think too many people will work here. I mean, they will, but I don't think too many people come here. I'm going to change this into 400 instead of 700. Capacity. Move all those trains. They'll all come back over here and get there. Actually do it. Sometimes they will, sometimes they don't. I'll just have to wait for them to do it themselves. They usually stop at a station, then turn around and come back here. curious to see um, I always wanted to see what it looked like from not often times you'll see them come up from this bridge they usually come up from below curious to see how they'll flow unless I did the wrong train by accident like an idiot did I do the wrong train I did press the wrong train I am an idiot uh, one and then push this one back now they should return so like this one for instance, this one should go up the center ramp. However, I do wish the mod kind of took them to their final destination, like the seven passengers, and brought them to where they want to go, like the, the station that they're going to before they terminate. But yeah, now they're going to cross over here. Not oftentimes I'll see them do this. However, I think they will cause the one track AI will cause a problem with the new train spawning. They kind of want to terminate in the same area and it's all one track. It does lead to a problem. These containers are really in there. I don't, there's nothing really large enough that I could have placed or nothing wide enough that would interrupt it. They are pretty wide. If I use Bob, it'll change all of them, which I kind of don't want to do. Hopefully they don't get stuck. I will have to erase one of you if they're stuck. They're all coming back now. It is nice. It's working. Working pretty well. So there's one coming out. Now here's the problem with single track AI. This train can see a train entering. However, I'm not sure... It'll probably keep going since the train's not here yet, but it knows it's a train coming, like this one. I don't know where this one is going, or which one this one is going, but it, I know it will stop. Okay. Uh, okay. 
That's that. Let's go back to the port. I'm thinking about putting this underground instead of having a large viaduct past the entire area. If I were to put it underground, this can be like everything can bridge over this railroad instead of having it go above or below in a railroad crossing grade, which I really don't want. Railroad crossing would be really bad for these freight lines because there will be a lot of freight trains if I do this. If I do what I'm doing here, there will be a lot of freight trains. What I'm going to do is I'm actually, I did get the new, not new, but got a network pack for wireless trains or wireless tracks, which are nice. I'm going to use all of these. I'm actually going to convert these all to wireless tracks first. Yeah, because already there's already a lot just being used for the farming or the forest industry. So if I have more for the oil, the ore and the farm, it'll be too many. All these are nice. Mail, custom. Doing that, I do have to fix this. Every time I have to fix this. The speed limit will be a little bit slower. Could do the entire line. Uh, let's. I'm gonna keep this as electric. Pass here will be on electric, not electrified. Should have done that. The train's right there. But it sets a no cables. It's really nice looking. Just a blank road, clean slate, nothing there. Kind of nice. Yeah. So I want to avoid rural crossings on this track specifically. I'm not going to mind it on this one. These are blank, which are nice. Good. This is a track that'll be probably completed later on when I enter into this portion of the city. Or even this portion. So now I'm going to prepare the land for the industry. I'm going to be using the industry buildings by Avanya for this area. Yesterday, I did look at the map of Seattle, and it was kind of a good example of industry in the area, in a city, from a coastal city as well. I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to place this down for now. Line this up. I don't mind this being a bridge until so, like over here, it'll come to the ground over here, bridge across the same thing it's always been doing. But for now, for here, let's just set it lower, not at the ground height, but just enough. Maybe for here, it'll be ground height. is pretty steep a little bit three that's fine that's fine and bring this back to a bridge however i don't want catenaries again this should have a bridge variance 
Don't cat areas. Yeah, but the bridge is pretty deep, but I guess it's fine. Deep as in the the beam of the steel flange is really wide. Oh, well, just gotta bring this up because this is nodeless for some reason. So there's nothing I can really do about that to fix that. Drag it up. I did say before we want to use the, uh, the tunnel assets, so why not take advantage of that here? There was other maps that I've used the Hellscape Bridge. I'm pretty sure I have it in the workshop. It is the uh, Island Bay City. Island Bay. This will already be probably deep underground since I'm already so close. Water. So this goes at a, like a really steep incline. As long as I just go below here by a little bit, it's fine. I'm already going to start to descend from maybe back here. Let's see what it looks like if I... here. 2.3. That's already deep. It's already really deep. This curve correctly, because there are some awkward turns. Now, uh, these are deep enough. A train can fit really nicely under here. It goes straight from above ground to just descending immediately. Um, This is a pond of water. So you know what? I'll make the tunnel start from back here just to avoid this. Again, I'm going to use the tunnel for the... Where is it? Yeah, the Hudson River tunnels. They do have power lines, but can't really get rid of them. It's gonna be that like that. It'll start from back here. It's gonna be far distance from the water, but that's fine. Banks will kind of split from here and come out where over there. Come over around here, turn. While underground, which makes it a lot easier to do than a bridge, to be honest. As long as it's not visible, this portion up here. So right now, there's a 135 feet drop. Bring this up until it's just about underneath the water. Right here, about 30 to 30, 36, let's go 36. And then just make a turn. We'll be underground for a while. Or it ascends back up again. But shouldn't be too much of a problem. So from here, this is the middle point, I'm pretty sure. And just click here. Slope will show you how it looks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that's like 5% or 4 perfect. 4 is a steep slope. Yeah, that's really steep. Really steep. It does stick out right there, which isn't a problem. You could literally, you could honestly just take the landscaping tool and kind of smoothen it out. But that is a little too steep because just because of the way it is, it kind of dips down then goes right back up. If this flattens out, then it'll be fine. See what that looks like if it's flattened out. A lot more forgiving when it's flattened out. Here, let's press this so it pops up correctly. Here, let's see. It already it descends a little bit further down at once it reaches this point. So let's actually I could make a tunnel from a little bit farther, a little bit closer. Maybe from this point, and kind of make a descent from this point. It could go like a little bit steeper, like 3.7 at least. Yeah, 3.7. Then once it reaches like the midway points, let's make it come up a little bit 
plus tarp. So it descends a little bit from there to there to there. Over here is the deep end. At least the middle. And these are pretty tall, so you don't need any you don't need to worry about changing the elevation of anything. This thing's already too far underground. Or in the ground, I guess. This is the train line. This is the standard train line. The nodes are already perfectly spread apart, which is nice. This doesn't have to do anything fancy. No no tall bridge. No, nothing like this. No truss. Maybe just like a... One of, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of one of these, but maybe... This one's a little bit too long. And his pillar is right in the middle of it. Uh, let's see. Something a little bit more modest. Like this one. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. I'm going to try not to click these nodes. They do act up when I click on them. They shouldn't... Are... Not slope. I might have to click them. They're going to act up, but... That's what I mean, they act up. They do the same thing as the other bridge, which is fine. They... Yeah, it's fine. It's still flat. Okay, that's fine. It does bring it a little bit closer. It does leave this kind of hideous looking thing. I guess I could put props to like, kind of block this, like, I do have blocks, like, literally just blocks. Um, I don't know where the blocks are. Oh, that is a question. Blocks. Oh, they didn't show up. Hmm. I use these blocks just to kind of cover it. I think it act as like a large wall that this bridge went into. Just to cover that awkward patch. I think to the other side. It's because it's not centered. And just like that. Yeah, it makes a nice appearance going above. And these do have wires, which are nice. They fit pretty nicely. I'm not going to put the catenaries because they do... They do kind of overlap. I don't think this needs catenaries, to be honest. This portion here, I've never fixed this in a while. I've been sitting here looking at this for the longest time. Uh, this is a regular road. Uh, the highway is up here. I'm not sure too much if I need a, a highway road. I mean, I guess it is away from society a little bit. I do have this highway bridge, which is relatively the same as that bridge over there. Get rid of this node. Get rid of this node as well. Place this one here, and... Just like that, same thing. Very similar. If I go into bridge mode, it'll go into a bridge, yeah. I mean, this is fine too, but... I prefer this kind of bridge over water, to be honest. Now, it does leave these spots. Good, never mind. It don't fix it. Yeah, so same thing here. Same thing as that bridge, same thing as that bridge. Nice. How did I forget the name of these bridges are called? There. Trust, trust, I don't. Really like Shoreline Radio. This is a nice radio. Listen to. Pause the game. One speed. So, let's see. The industrial area. I'm going to continue to bring the land back. You. What I might actually do is, what I think about this, 
I'll have two two levels of industry. One on a lower level and one on an upper level. The upper level will be brought back. What's that? Big. Upper level will be brought back. Kind of match this portion of the road. So kind of take this and kind of come across. I think this road is really leveled. The ground is just really uneven. Again, using quays, I'm gonna do that same thing in here. So I might make the train the train might split in two. Upper level, lower level. The upper one will go into an existing, will, will be transformed into like similar to a yard, like the yard space over here. Except think of it more like a freight aesthetic. The volleyball move tracks just branch out into like 16, that might be too much, but 16. And then kind of come back into two again. And they kind of disperse. Maybe it just it goes into the airport, honestly. That's probably as you can get. And the other ones. Down here, well, these ones will be more usable ones. So think of this one as a bypass of the airport. This one will be used for the ports, the all the terminals. So these will go into the ships, and yeah, most of the ships. To be honest, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get the tracks to come in here. I might. Not sure about this one. These turns are pretty sharp for a freight train. Can't really put a sharp turn here. I'm just gonna have to put one track come across here, come across the other side, and the other one come over here. I don't think I could put anything in here. So maybe I could just unlock this and kind of erase it, or I could just leave it the way it is, but it would be a little strange to look at. All these roads are one ways, going in this direction. There. Yeah, going in this direction, because this is the direction that the trucks will come in to deliver and take out. If you're facing the other way, it causes a lot of traffic. They're the same here. I'm gonna race these roads and kind of just place the industrial roads alongside of it. It will be a little bit messy. So I want to lower this down just to match the road height. Like the stairs can sit on this portion. But I can't do that if this is locked. The road. Here, these aren't locked to the road. These aren't locked to the road at all. So, it'll cause. I don't think it'll cause an error. It might give me some trouble in the future. But, maybe if I lower this down now, it'll probably still lock to the road because it's not connected, yes, but I think it'll still lock. Oh no, it doesn't. Cool. So as long as this portion here is accessible to the trucks, then it's fine. Like, it looks normal, like here. Same here. Those that's normal. These ones are different. These are the vanilla ones. So the vanilla ones will look different. I will have to lower this even further just to make it fit. I have a truck some passing here. This one I'm level it to the flat surface. I'm using a quay with no railing, which is a lot. Now the orientation of the boats of the these things. I'm not sure how they will. So, so, let's bring one of these double ones. Let me see if none of these have problems, by the way. Sometimes they'll have a problem where they say no, no access points available. I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to keep this. And I'll bring one of these over here. I might not have anything over here, to be honest. I mean, I wouldn't mind it. But... Let's, let's switch it up. So, I'm going to take this one and bring it over here. However, uh, it is it is locked, so let's figure that out. I have to put this here without messing up the road. I place this here. The road will snap. That is a good thing. However, I do have to unlock the road and delete it. 
I don't want any node in this area. I'm going to leave space just for the trains to kind of come between. Let's go up to here. I'm going to unlock this and delete it. Tracks. Hopefully this does not snap to the, the roads on the existing sides. It does. That's a problem. I'm going to delete this as well. Uh, let's delete this as well. It snaps to nothing. Set it to the same level as this building. That way it will snap easier. It will look like it will connect easier. Back to industry. It's the ground. Go all the way to the ore. Okay. And then on this side. Delete this portion. Just spin it out and then slope it. Yeah, and then, yeah, perfect. Okay. The Quay will show a little bit behind it. If it does that, just bring up one. You. Perhaps there is fine. I have a double Quay here. A double, uh, what's this called? Cargo hub? Cargo hub? Two cargo hub? One, and maybe, maybe just this one in the end? Do the boats come from this direction as well? They do. This would have been a nice spot too for a cargo hub, but the land, the water's too shallow. Can't do it here. Ground is right there. Yeah, it's too shallow. And there's a bridge or a train here. Do that. Bridges are tall enough here to do it, so this is the area that would most likely do it in over here. Here is a little bit of ore area, so it's all water. Now, I did think about kind of racing the water, but I don't want to do that. It's a wetland area. I kind of want to keep this as a wetland. So I, and honestly, I might just make this entire area like the water ore area. So this one is this. When it's painted in the industry area. I could just place a bunch of these to get ore. Maybe just paint some on land, why not? Maybe over here or in here. I don't want to touch anything over here. This will be the I've already named it Florence, these signs I believe. I'm not sure what name I want this to be. District to be. I usually like to name the district something else when it's something important. If it's unimportant, the name will just Oops, that's a mistake. That's a bad thing to do. Yeah, Florence Park. I don't know if I want to keep that name. This is a highway as well. Um, This highway... I don't think it'll be a highway the entire way. I think I might make it two lanes. Or maybe a divided highway wouldn't be bad either. Let's plot this land. So here was the idea for this portion up here. Using this road right here, I'm gonna separate the land. Wait. Here's what I mean. Let me get a road up here. It'd be a lot faster if I do it up here. Hey, see a hill right here, so let me find this out. I have to use this road up here as an example as well. Let me take a line from up here, bring it down. Let me turn on grid lines so we can see contour lines. Across, same thing down here. Take one of these lines, cross. What I'm going to do is make a lower level or an upper level deck. The train will have to ascend from ground, however. So I'm going to set this a little bit further back just so I can have space for the train to ascend. I can't really divide it underground in this track. This kind of a... Yeah, that kind of track. A little bit glitchy. Not glitchy, but it's kind of hideous if I do that. What I'm going to do is send a quay going across. Same thing, 
this direction. Have an upper level, lower level deck. Play meets. I did, uh, however, am I a little bit off time? I kind of erased some trees. I just like I went through and I decreased the strength by a little bit and just kind of decreased the amount of trees that were in the area because the frame rate was a little too high or too low yesterday. It was 23 in this area. Now it's down to at least 30. So the trees are a problem. When you have too many trees, it's a little bit of laggy. Yeah, now it's, it's 30. It could be better still. But I'll probably have to go back through and maybe delete a little bit more trees. But yeah. That's what I did for there. Here I'm going to... I don't think there'll be trees in this area, to be honest. It's an industry area. I, there might not be trees at all. leave it bald for now or maybe forever to be honest with those now in terms of land land usage let me bait out this clay first so do you want it to be the same height as this road both sides let me put that same height for this road just kind of take it and just level it out higher way. This. able to bring this up take this road once it reaches probably at the toward the end uh this road will kind of ascend up to the upper level uh, if it's a railroad in the corner of this or a road a regular road i'm not sure yet but let's see what happens i think tomorrow tomorrow oh, tuesday Tomorrow I might not stream. Tomorrow will be that one day off because the game's gonna update tomorrow, so which means the mods are gonna be broken. I'm gonna give it a whole day because I stream at 7:30 p.m. So that should give me almost a whole two days for the mods to the important mods to I guess update. All I'm also the other mods. I don't use a lot of mods that'll completely break the game well before uh for uh what's that those few mods that did for like prop anarchy and tree anarchy those broke the game but other than that every other mod is usually completed by then this would be the upper level and lower level i'm gonna split these two into different districts so that district is too big Industry ports. It's the upper deck. Lower deck. Now, this being the case, clays are hard to build around because roads do not snap next to clays correctly. See here, I guess to do this, what I've been doing before. This is a perfect 4x4 space away, which is really nice, honestly. 
I wish I did it over here. I could do that over here still. Make this road come straight down. Leave enough space for a 4x4 four four grid and kind of just come back up. And do the same here. This would be a lot easier. A lot better looking. But I'm actually, I might put the train over here, to be honest. I might put like a, a prepare two tracks over here. Let me do that. I'm going to leave that blank. Putting the train there. Now, depending on what's going to be there, railroad crossings will vary. So, in here, inland, will be the farm farming district. So, there will be a train kind of branching upward from this industry into farming. Oil? Oil might be on the back end of this place. Maybe in the back of this airport area. Or, maybe close by. Maybe, like, right here. I believe this is oil, I'm pretty sure. It's ore. So it's all of this is ore. However, I do want to keep this area as a nature reserve. So I'm not going to try to touch this area. I will put more trees here. I did remove some trees, but I will put these trees back. I might just get rid of the trees. Maybe on the hills, honestly. The hills. I'm not sure if the hills had trees. But I might I'll just almost make it naked. Not as naked, so. To be the upper port upper port has a little larger portion over here at the bottom trains can come here i don't know what they'll do maybe they'll wrap around or i'm not sure yet i guess that'll all come together in the industry industry port so yeah, i'm not sure what i'll do to tomorrow tuesday tuesday either look at the new maybe tuesday i'll just look at the new stuff i'll play with the new stuff and see how they work because i really don't know how they work probably Really simple, but I just don't know. I'll probably take the time to put them in their own district style. So they don't, so I can spawn them however they want. I don't think when you have district styles on, you can't just. Maybe you can. Maybe you can. If the styles remain the same as long as they can place them in here, maybe you can give them their own style. I've never tried it, but. Maybe. Here I'm going to continue the road. However, if I were to make this a one way going across the entire loop, it would cause a lot of traffic. I'm going to cause some some uh, divisions in place here. So what I mean is have, let's say, trucks that come here. I want to make them exit and go from this road to this road down here. I want to make them bypass and trucks that want to come here and enter through here. However, how will that work? I'm not sure. I could use a highway. I'm being honest. Could use a highway road, make one kind of overlap, come across and come into this portion. But I want to make them enter wherever they need to, not force them to go all over along this place like Ikea. I'm going to do that. Maybe a highway road can be set in place. Taking a road off the main branch. It could be a divisible of roads. Let me let me take the train out from underground first before I place anything drastic. This idea, this port might be one of those I'm going to keep changing as I go. I'm not sure how it's going to be oriented. It's negative 39 underground. Really? It's not deep. Cool. Bring it up. Bring it up to the surface. I'm curious to see how deep that is. pretty steep that's pretty deep 5.9 is pretty deep so it needs to come out at a better incline maybe even come out on land from on the lower level instead of the upper level rid of the look maybe just depart at this portion up here instead of here all that do from there It'll still be bad, but I can be able to work with it just a little bit. That's the portion where it's steep. So here's what I'll do here. I'll flatten this portion out. I'll fill in the land just a little bit. So barely make a dent, honestly. It's like 5.4, 5.2. Bringing this up, I'm going to flatten this land a little bit. Little bit. It is pretty steep over here. I'm 
I'm gonna bring this one back. I'm gonna leave this 5.2. So this middle ground will be untouched. I'm gonna keep it untouched. Find this out. Don't make it shown. Now, this can come out not far, maybe a little bit. This is really. Declining pretty quick. But it doesn't look noticeable, to be honest. When you're underground, you can never really tell which direction you're going. Are you going up, down? And you can feel if you're going left or right, judging by the trains. Physics. I think this, this can work. So two tracks will divide down. Two tracks will come up. Maybe from behind here. Maybe I could do what I did over here. Make this space for two tracks to just come between here. However, I do want a larger space. I'm going to maybe make this two tracks that will divide even further. More trains will come out here. The main lines will be down here. So this would be like a yard space up here. With maybe some newer industry buildings. Like the, uh, the storage buildings. Maybe even this. I, I personally like these buildings. These uh, industrial buildings. I'm going to use these storage buildings. They do have a nice design. Like Amazon warehouses. Just a regular warehouse. Taking this, I'm going to bring it up by four. I believe this one is by four as well. Yes, yeah, so by four as well. So I'm gonna do the same thing there. I'm gonna have a freight train come across this portion. Uh, so let's make a start here. This might be a good starting point. Using this road, I want to have. Market taking inspiration from Seattle. Seattle does have highways that enter into their area. This is kind of a perfect entry point right here. I have like a little area where everything can be deposited down here. Then this can be like a little return pipe. You're gonna have like plumbing. Be a return pipe. That'll return everything back to up here. Or maybe even just make them come across and filter through, come back up here. Think of it like that. So I'm gonna think of everything like a heart, a human heart. Everything needs to return to the up sort. This can be a highway beyond this point. Highway bridge that'll then put everything and flush out. In terms of how it's going to look, I'm not sure. I will, however, it'll probably just be two lanes. I don't want it to be too big. I'm actually going to use a standard road and make it ramp above. They are, they do look a little bit cheaper than the concrete one. The concrete ones look like this. This one, this one is more, looks like it's more defined for a truck to drive on, to be honest. This one looks like it's more cars. I don't know what that means, but that's just my thought that look. I'm going to use these roads. Most likely two lanes. Come across. And kind of swirl. Swirl around depositing trucks in different areas. So if I do this turn. If I do that, I could come across. Turn. Turn again. From here, it'll deposit into one portion and this portion as well. And I'll just Yeah, just deposit itself out. Maybe even a center one as well. On this side, we'll kind of just return back up. Maybe have one here. Maybe have one road that loops around back. This point and just kind of around. And comes back. Something like that. I think that might be the way to go. It went in the way to deposit trucks in this area. In terms of this road will go, I don't know yet. But I think these two can be settled in. These two for these two ports, or three. 
these for this one. Maybe this can bypass everything in this area and just come to the end. So that might be the idea for that. Yeah, that might be the idea. I'm going to erase that for now, erase this for now. But I'm going to keep this here for a while. Just to see how it turns out. The trains, however, will become a little bit of a problem in terms of clearance. I can't get clearance from this road to this road with a train here. Trains might have to dip down, or this road might not exist. I could just make it from this road to here. Make this road just exist off of this road. Uh, Clearance-wise, I'm not sure how it'll fit. So the idea for the train is to kind of deposit itself right here on this portion. I'm looking at this area. Looking at this area. It might be a good idea just for it to deposit up here. Have a separate track mirroring this track as well. So four tracks up here. Same thing down here. Four tracks as well. One track might come around and kind of curve up to this bridge. Other one will come around all the way over here. These two will make like a little, well not a little, a large yard. Maybe kind of dividing from up here. A large yard up here to then deposit into the cargo airport. I think that's the way it'll go. So let's try this. I'm gonna place this on the ground. Maybe not too close. I do want to train closer, so I'm going to put it a little bit there if it allows me to. Nice. Oh no, a train could fit. Two tracks can fit. Why did you do that? Two tracks could fit, I believe. Oh. Let's try it. Uh... Yeah, make it fit. Pretty well. Now, clearance here is fine. It is next to a hill. Clearance up here, however, from this to that, that'll be a problem. If I remove this road, I actually might remove this. Maybe I'll make an exit for this road. This is technically a highway. I say highway, but highway. So this can maybe kind of loop around, come back up, or maybe from back here, kind of go up and over into this port. However, I do want other ports entrance on this road as well so here's what i might do since this is already under well, going underground this can stay on the ground this can ascend to this level i might do the same thing like what i did over here in downtown have the road the roads level make this dip a little deeper not that spot uh this spot have a little dip the trains can just pass over. I might do that. Same thing over there. Let's try that. I think that'll work better. So have this. This will be split into two branches. Lower level. Put that there for now. Lower level. Upper level. This will have to descend a little bit further beyond, but that's the gist of it. Now... In terms of where it's going, maybe I can have a separate track here. This is already under. Maybe I can just take this bridge across, to be honest. Uh, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. That might be the plan. This will just be higher, which is not a problem. This will be a highway that comes over there. So I might. This might be a divided highway, to be honest over here i might divide this highway it'll combine over here but divide beyond this point again i'm going to do that uh, i'll make it a two-lane highway nothing too big just as long as it's divided it might work it's in the wrong way do that just kind of Mirror it, but I don't think I'll put them next to each other, to be honest. Maybe at certain points, like maybe over here, right here, they could be next to each other, but not over here. The, I'll keep this blank space empty. I want to have like a little reserve, like an off-ramp 
and an in-ramp to enter here. So I'm going to space them out over there. And I'll keep them parallel. Uh, let's go back a few. I don't want them to kind of join together. I want them to like go spread out and come back in. Let's do that. I'm going to put them uh, one distance away from each other. Oh no, let's put them closer together, I guess. I do kind of want them to kind of come out and back in. By too much. Looks like it's going to be at too much. Oh, that's fine. Like, come out, come back in. Same thing for this side. Come out to come back in. Just to make it seem a little fair for both sides. That's come back in. Not gonna be parallel, but good enough. I'm gonna face the right direction. Though. This into this road. Thank it. Continue. Let's stop it from here. So it'll start being divided from this point. I could say the same thing for here, maybe come out to come back in, but what's just that? Just for now, it's a... This side's not important yet. It'll get important later, but not now. Oh, you're really... Hit me right now. Right there. Set their nodes correctly so they don't do weird U-turns. And set this so they can go through without stopping. But here, I'll leave a gap. So using just the regular tool, I'm just gonna kind of do this. A little more space would be nice. Maybe not artificially. Maybe I have to do it naturally. Maybe I can manually do this. I do kind of want it to like up and over. You're gonna do that weird glitch, but that's fine. The idea is have an exit ramp on the left side rather than the right side come across. It'll kind of deposit its way into the port area in three different areas. So port will have different sections. One, two, well, one, two, and three. This is the third one. This is going to the port one, and this one's going to the port two, where they we enter back into the highway in the this direction, making a bridge up and coming across back over to connect to this highway again. There'll be two ramps, one on this side and one on this side. Those will be the only entrances into this port. Other than that, it's the cargo trains that will deliver everything from the inside and the ships. Well, this whole area, all industry. I'm going to wait for the pack that comes out tomorrow for the industry buildings to place anything down, but I'm just going to lay out the roads for now. should not be here. When you use network multi-tools, for some reason spawns zoning on the roads for some reason. This is still visible. No road there. But let's see. I'm gonna take a road. Three lane road. There is no 3W, just 3E. I wish it was a 3W, but I guess it's fine. This will kind of make Cross. Let's place this one over here. Let's get this one set up. Over this quay. As long as my collision is not on, it should go through there. Okay, good. Come across. Come over. Now, this side, um... This side can be tall. So, let's do this. I'm gonna make this really a little bit higher of a hill. naturally taller than the other side as if this one was as if there was a mountain here so that's the reason I'm gonna put this hill here let's form some rocks some rock formation could artificially I uh, let me I might drag this road over a little bit I'm auto saving right now but I might drag this road further out just to give a better appeal I'll show you an example of what I am talking about or what I I'm going to do after I finish saving. Go 
Oh, crash. Thank you. Okay. So that's what I mean. Uh, I did it over here. Uh, I separated the road because I built a mountain in the middle, made the highway ramps and exits off of this mountain. So I'm going to do the same, similar thing, where I stack three elevations, make a ramp over. Kind of similar to that. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just for the industry purpose. Let's bring it a little bit further out. I'm going to manually do this. Near with the trees. I'll bring the land up. Further. Let's let's keep it there. So let's do this. Go from there. Well, let's not set that one. Do this one first. I'm gonna do that. Hopefully, it fixes both out. Okay, this is good. A good start. It is a little too sharp, so I'm gonna do it again. Start from a little bit earlier, and so it goes a little bit smoother. Same here. From here, out here, and go a little bit smoother. Yeah, like about that wide, about yay wide. Taking this portion, I'm going to make a mountain, well not a mountain, but a little hill. Starting at this height, I'm going to increase the brush size, but decrease the strength so it's not as strong. So strong, so change that. Something bigger. Something not too dense, but I do want to have some roads that pass between here. This will be the ground, ground road. This road is naturally here. However, this one will be artificial. Artificially placed. This road went around the mountain. This one go between it. While also going at an elevation. Not too high, but not too low. That in mind, I'm going to slope this. How about so? Here to here, that's fine. Here, here. 3.6 is fine for a car. This one's going through the hills. Increase the heights. Lots. Not best. I'm going to use one of these filters. This one might be the best one. So, decrease the strength by a lot more. I'm going to set it to the smoothest. Oh, let's go to the second smoothest setting. And kind of just click. Not hold, but just click. Uh, let me go with the little harder one so it forms more cliff. I didn't press the formation. There we go. We want the different pattern looks through. Is on top of the hill, which I don't want it to be resembled to be on top. I want the hill to go higher than this road, not by too much, but just by enough. Just by enough. Let's do that. I don't know how how tall is this going? Going a little bit taller. That's fine. About yay tall. About that tall. Just on this side. Maybe I'll keep this side just a tiny bit taller. But not by too much. One more of this on this side. So the goal is to make it look like this part was excavated in through. So this came from this side. I'm gonna have the highway kind of wrap around here and drive along the side. It's gonna go higher, which means I'm gonna have another portion that'll wrap around this side that'll run into this portion of the highway at the end. I'm gonna finish the end later on, but for here. The idea is to go a lot higher than the road that's going to pass below it. I mean, two rows, two layers, well, I guess three layers. Bottom, middle. 
height nicely. So let's bring this back further. I'm gonna set this to two lanes. Two lanes ground. Bring all of this back into on zoning. Put this as three lanes from let's say this point. Three lane left. I'm going to actually Let's go three lane one more back. This will be two lanes turn. It is an industrial area. So I'm going to use a four lane split. Do the same thing. Bring this across. Set this to custom and pull this over. Pull this down here. I mean, do that. This down here. Now two lanes will turn. Go this way. However, they're going to ride along the rocks. They're not going to pass through like this one. Just you get to stop snapping like that. Just going a little close and just popping there. They're gonna kind of ride across, and they're gonna go a little, at least high enough, just to reach this point for a road to pass beneath. Place here for now. Fix them all later. Make them all neat. And one road will pass below. I'm not sure if I want this to be two lanes. To be honest, this might just be one lane going this way, and two lanes come down this way. That's yeah, so a one lane this way. Thirty-three is fine. Have this bridge over. But have this portion kind of turn to go under it. This to home, and this will be placed on land. So this will be going in this portion, in this direction, on the ground, where it will meet back up this side, on the same elevation as this road. Back into three, into two. It's that just now, but just to make this a little less sharp, up from back here and come across here. and slope downward maybe not from so high maybe from this point over here this can be the same height as this then again to bring this right bring it back put it all back and it makes a good clearance for the trucks to pass underneath there is a light post here uh See if I can move it. I'm not sure if I can, but if I set this to bend, I'm pretty sure it'll move. Bend this all the way back. Yeah, okay, good. I have this road. Cross. Okay. It'll then divide into three. So I'm going to make this three lanes over here, but it'll split up to three different areas. One will go into this port. This one will go into this port. This one will go into the port all in front, like an express service. It'll bypass these if it has to. Trains. I'm going to leave the trains there. This road will pass by next to it as a highway road still remaining like that. Let's make it let's make it two lanes why not the distance will require it might back up who knows industry is kind of iffy like that for me sometimes either i have a lot of traffic or no traffic i'm gonna make it two lanes for now Go across kind of turn right under here wheels to be elevated over this road however so one lane, let's keep this bridge as one lane, but make it on ground as two lanes. Right when it reaches this point, it can be two lanes. This is pretty high still, so lower this by a lot. Shouldn't just lower them. Ooh, a heights that a truck can pass. This is all about trucks over here in this area. Upside tall is fine. Here, 
This can make a steady slope from that point. So that's that's perfect. And three lanes, I'm gonna make this. Not using the concrete, let's use this vault. Let's make it three lanes from further back. I don't want them changing lanes anywhere between here. I'm gonna keep them like that. In terms of lanes, uh, which whatever one has more priority, I'll figure them out, but I think I'll just let them be, let them switch route. This will connect to this. I can honestly just move this road, I don't that there anymore, bring this further back. Let's make it connect from this point forward. Bridge mode, make a two lane back to here. Onto there. Bring this back. Uh, let's. I want to add more structure, so let's I'm add more nodes just so it looks a little bit more natural, more, more correct. To me. I mean, so put more pillars in between areas. Oh, there's going to be a train there. I probably shouldn't put that there. Okay, bring that back. Put this here. Here. Let's find there. One there, but remove this one. This one's way too close. It's going to be that awful slope, which I hate. But fine. This hill, let's move it out just a little bit, just the corners. Thanks for tuning in today. Alt one. I'm Carolyn Shine. Put the smoothest one there and just set the brush a little bit lower. Smooth out the corner a little bit. This stands it's a little too sharp. Edge. Let's bring it down. Bring up the strength a little bit, flatten this out a little bit more. I could use uh, this tool, the slope terrain, but it might do too much. It might do too much smoothening that I don't want. Thanks for the follow remote 1081. Oh, Channel name, 1081. If the more you follow me, the more I just ramble. I'm just talking about my design process. Basically what I do as a student anyway. Talk about your design process. What's your idea of the things that are happening in this place? This mountain will have some trees to prevent it from looking from so bald. It's pretty, pretty hideous right now. The trees will make it look a lot better. Let's do that. Not too much strength. I do want some collision that is too big. So, placing some trees, collision is all. Okay. Placing some trees down and fix this problem. Not too much. I don't want too much trees, but just enough. Looks a little bit more natural. Let's road pass between the trees. A higher elevation the other side. How's the slope? Slope is pretty steep. This portion to this portion. Let's flatten it out just a little bit. At 4.5. Yeah. A lot better. That way when it goes through here, it kind of just... Uh, let's get rid of this. Let's put this as land. It flattens out just a little bit. 
Yeah, this is fine. Hate it when it does that, but there's nothing really I could do about that. Set this to middle. Put it back. So it's a little bit more natural. The trees bring it to life, honestly, the, the hilltop. I could put some signs to make say, the road is curving up ahead so nobody can get off a cliff. Now for this portion, for the return, the return side, this road right here. Now, depending on what kind of industry buildings that I want in the area, I could want uh, like the warehouses or I have these warehouses for like UPS and have the longer buildings as well or the medium size or the small size. But depending on what I want in this area, I'm thinking of putting the warehouses in the upper level, upper deck to the lower deck. Lower deck might be just for shipping on boats. But I most likely will also put the different cargo areas or storage areas over here. Same thing with the uh, industry. What kind of uh, industry buildings do I want to put over here? For most part, I want to avoid putting the oil and the, in the steel plant. I don't put these in this area. I put them where they belong in the, like the ore or the steel area specifically oil area I meant uh, the shipyard the shipyard can go down here I did forget to place that I'll find a spot for this maybe at the end maybe let's put that there for now but the other things I could put those types of industry buildings here like the carport the electronics the car factory and things like that they could go up here as well they wouldn't look bad over here or in the back well, these ones are large they might have to fit back here to be honest but Smaller ones can fit down here. I wouldn't be too opposed to have these at the bottom level. The return pipe, or I say pipe, return road. This one can have roads that are shoot up, shooting off. Up with zoning, however. So zoned roads that return back. I could have the industry roads placed alongside. As long as they're facing back and going backwards the first one. Which has the longest distance, which is good. It will make a path for them to return back to the return road. So they can exit onto the highway and deliver it to the city where they want to go. For this, oh, this one is might be a little difficult. As you know, roads in city skylines, the trucks go from right to left. They will deliver things from, in, let me see in the building spawn point. It doesn't show really, but they'll deliver things from right to left. It's best to make everything a one way in one direction, specifically going in this direction. So as long as your one ways are going towards the left, they should be fine. However, I did notice this here. I will have a problem facing words down here, which I, it won't be a problem actually. I could make it turn down, come around and return back. I do plan on having like a loop, maybe this return road will be facing in this direction, looping around and kind of just going back up. However, depending on how close it is, let's this. I'll have a highway road right in the middle, right between these two. I'll find a node to be place. Closer to the this road right here. From this point, I'll have it ascend. Not by too much. 26. 26 is good. From this point, it kind of turn. We'll have to ascend pretty sharp at this point since there is a quay right here. We'll have to go above the train as well. I plan to have trains pass here. So maybe like 39 feet beyond here. There. So we'll reach up to there. So this is high enough. However, this is pretty steep. Let's do this. I'm going to have this curve. Have this curve right here, seven to seven. Come across and kind of just ascend rapidly from this point. Let's go from here, from this point. So it's a little bit even. Those are like about three incline, four incline. That's fine. So this is a fine incline, which will then. It's not even. Let's straighten this. Train this out, train this out, make it match that side. And then they 
here. Let's have this go here. Pull this forward. This bend correctly. Go on there. Uh, two tracks, or not tracks, two roads, two lanes. We'll go on to this one. One lane, go left. More lanes toward the airport and to the city center compared to the left. So it's better to have higher priority when facing that direction. So actually, make the two lanes come across here as well. Make them just enter in from the left instead of the right. I don't think I would have enough space for the right anyway. I'm going to have a lot of space over here for the industry area. Let's make it three lanes. Reason being three lanes, I'm going to have one road come across and kind of loop around and come up. It's going to be a really sharp curve, but it work. Here's a bridge. I use a, a concrete version so I know it's a bridge when I'm looking at it from a far distance. I know it's elevated. So I can see the difference, somewhat different from a distance. Well, from here, maybe not from there, from here. Curve right here. Pretty sharp. So let's go a little bit closer so it's a little bit more even. Five. Much. From here, from five, five, maybe four. It'll really sharp, but right there. Set this as the same height as the parent road, and then kind of descend down, pass under here, rolling back. So it just makes a big old loop here. And underneath the bridge, it just loop its way around. I could have used the loop tool. I'm going to try to do this manually by hand. Enough snapping so I can neck. And this up. Let me pull this further a little bit. This needs to be in bridge form so it doesn't do this. And then just that seems about outright. Close all the gaps. And that's should be good. It's a little off, but it should be good. Just to make it a little bit more, a little bit more perfect. Let's bring this in a little bit to make it a little bit more even. Uh, well, put this in. So. That looks a little bit better. This portion there just curve better, and then that should. Be a little bit better, it looks like a cochlea. That's that's good. This would be the ramp onto the highway. It will prove to be a little bit difficult to change lanes repeatedly to go left, but I'm not gonna let that worry me for now. In terms of this building, this is a lot I could have this road kind of like it passes between here. Which it kind of does pass underneath here. However, it can't go through here, so I can't use this road. This one's a little too big. I could use the meat warehouse one. Uh, this one, not that one. This one. This one's fine here. Don't mind that. But I'm gonna keep this as a highway format. This road. I'm not gonna have any buildings on this road. Is going onto this portion over here so let's actually make this spot into a little area where a u-turn is accessible u-turn or a ramp to get onto this room i'm going to separate this portion with this portion so this can stop here this will continue here divide these two this will go into here so how close is that five just go five for five Let's do that. So this portion will go into there. This will be the return. This will come back and start the return road, which is here. This road will bridge over these two. One lane, because one lane will come from here. From this point, 
Let's have this one bridge over as well. So this will make a bridge. This will make a bridge. So we'll descend. And we'll go over. Or below. But here's the idea. Here to here. Ascend. Here to here. Ascend as well. Keep ascending to go across. Here, let's do... Open over. Over. I'm going to keep the same bridge design until it reaches the actual ground floor. Right from there to there. What I'm going to do is make it look flat. Keep it like this. Using the slope tool in node controller. And is that right? Darn. Using the slope tool. And slope things to make it look like the bridge is kind of curving. But it's the same for both sides. So it looks like it's just curving across to make a clearance on the lower level. The trains are here, however. I have to keep that in mind. Cause us to ascend. Bring this down. This will ascend again. I guess it doesn't make sense to ascend and descend and ascend. However, if that's the case, to make it more useful, let's do this. Uh, I did say this is going to be one lane. One lane across backwards. I have one road connect from this side to make it seem a little bit more meaningful for it to descend. Give it a reason to descend. I'll just make it go down for no reason. If it went down for no reason, just make it all ascend, so. Do this. From this road. This road would have went around and came back to this point. So maybe we can do this. I could do that. However, I do want a portion that goes toward the outside for the train. So I'm actually going to bring this back a little bit further. portion let's elevate that portion from there i'm gonna set this to the ground back here and just erase what i did here this is in the middle of the road which i can move but for now just set this to ground same thing here i'm gonna on the ground Because the train is right there, so I'm going to make the trains kind of turn. I don't want them to go interact with this too much. This will go up and over. I'm going to put two notes here. There's this one. Make do the same thing what I mentioned before. Make these slope. Two and two. Then this one will descend. It doesn't have to be so long of a distance, to be honest. I can really cut it back by a lot. Like for here, this can be cut back. Click this here. Set this to ground. So I don't get this this problem. Set this to ground. And then make it ascend from this point. I will have to drag this node back. Bring this back. And let's do the same the same thing. Put these really close to each other. Remove the middle one. I'm gonna forcefully put these to the ground. Same here. Remove this one. I'll move this one. Put this closer. Set it to the ground. Well, let's let's get a better grid line placement. I don't know if that's gonna be even to all the zoning lines that I have. Okay. Lines. Let's go up to, say, here. This on the ground. Make this slope there, make that slope to there. Using the node tool, make this one slope so it forms a hill. Nice hill. I 
just ramps over, but looks nicer. This to go up, then put this on open. Then this is just an easy access onto the ramp onto the highway. Make a little inward for industrial buildings in here. Make it ahead of the exit. Don't put it behind the exit. You don't want you don't want to back up this area too much. Just make it run to this road. Does that not fit between them? Here. No, it does. Same thing twice. Oh, so it's just naturally that long? Oh, that's fine. It's not really bothering me. Do that. Back here will be something a little bit different. Let me put in the exit lane in case boats want to come by when I unpause the game. Two lanes turn. Let's divide it right or right here. Set it to ground. Probably at this point, you set to ground. You get right alongside the mountain. Put it to ground. Just come along next to it. Not too close, too fast. By the time it reaches here, it should be on the same level. So just bring it in. Not when it does that. Uh, be nice to me, please. Please be nice to me. I don't want it to do that from that distance. I'm gonna put a note here so it stops doing that. Still doing it. Please stop doing that. Let me do it from this angle. That's what I want. Okay. My collision is on. Let me turn it off so the trees can despawn when I place it. Trees go away. This before this should match the floor at this point, and then set it to ascend beyond this node from right over here. 0.7, that's fine. Open this up. Uh, let's bring that out a little bit wider. This node can disappear. Oh, oh wait, that's the node with the light. I don't need this node, frankly speaking. Mm. Open this up a little bit wider. Hold shift and then click this one to open it up. It's a little bit easier. The node the light is inside of there again. Let me set this to bend. I'd erase the node by accident. I'm going to bring this one back. I kind of need this one. Just to bend. Put it back. Make sure the light post is at least on the outside. So same thing with this one. Just to bend. Force the light pulse out of the road. And move the tree back to where it was. Down. We change the heights. Did that by accident. Going four. And just level it across. So everything works peacefully on this mountain. This isn't necessarily like an interstate highway, so not gonna worry too much. I do have to change lanes, however, this road can have traffic lights. I don't want traffic lights from the industry, however. It will there might be too many trucks. I still don't know. Industry is kind of iffy with me a lot of the time, so I'm gonna just put it naturally. Make the lanes divide. So four lane to three lane, it's gonna convert itself into two lane over time over here. Bring this out a little bit further. 
press that back to it, but nope. Close this in. I want the left side to the left line left side. The lanes to end. Left side. I probably shouldn't put a dash line here. Let me get rid of this. Here, do that there. It all over so yes. and then the two lanes can continue to go straight. The industry itself will have to merge itself. That that there. Straight merge and word. And the same can be said for this. Is that truck going backwards? Wrong way, bud. Yeah, that's better. This as well. This lane open up. Same here. This one open up. This will power a little further and then open this one up as well. Parts. Up as well. Now, safety is a concern. Railings are a decoration that you can put. Tab on both sides for the railings. Same for the lower level as well. Railings always go in front of the light posts. Bring those over the side. They can be right along the asphalt. Same can be said for this side as well. Put a railing on this side. Oh, this is a divided highway. I'm gonna put a railing over here. Just on the on the left side. The right side, I don't think it needs anything until I place like the trains and stuff over there. I'm gonna put it a little bit in the dirt. This is a divided highway. I have a median. I should revert that. I have a little of the medium in the middle. I have to shift it over a little bit. Or this is fine here. Over just a little bit. Bring this down. Manually place it up. Where this road. And with that, let me fix this and unpause it. See if trucks or ships spawn. There's one lane. Let me put this at the lanes. Here's a. Two lanes can't fit in here, but anything below over two lanes cannot fit under there. Uh, I will fix this most likely Tuesday. This area might be the hotel area, area over here. Um, this is going to be an interchange, but for now it's just looks like this for now. Things should fit. Let me go into triple speed, see if any trucks or ships on. I believe I did not make a return route for some of the roads, but I did make it for the center one. So the center one is working. The other two do not work yet. Yeah, they are working. Nice. Now the trains are a different story. The train comes from the outside here. Now... In terms of where they go, this one is the lower level. The lower level has its own system, and this is the level that goes right next to the highway. However, this will be a yard space for the trains. Like, like containers will sit here on the track and stuff like that. This one might bypass into the airport. I might need a cargo space as well. Or like different areas will kind of turn into a 
a warehouse. Like, I did see the, the vanilla had a freight warehouse, which I want to use. But I do have a warehouse. I am blind. Where is it? Really? Bl okay, let me just place these. Oh, it's right there. Okay. I have this one for the opposite direction, the dual cargo and warehouse. Warehouse one is the one I want to use the most. These two as well. These are distribution centers for the train as well. They use these a lot. So the goal is to set up a bunch of distribution centers, most likely down here, facing upward. So using this road above this portion, so maybe this road and that road, having distribution centers would be nice for these two tracks. One for the distribution center, one for the actual cargo ships. I don't think I'll have a train down here. I don't think a train can make a turn like this sharp, so nothing down here. For this side, I'm thinking of making this side over here. Not sure how it's going to be oriented yet, but that's the idea. So to set this up, I'm going to take a little bit of land over here just to place them. They might go diagonally, to be honest, like facing this direction. I'm going to use the zoning for this area. I'll just make them sit alongside here. That's not even. I do want equal zoning in this area or in this industry place. This area might change its orientation completely just because of this quay over here itself. This is an upper and a lower deck. They're going to change. They're going to shift around repeatedly. I'm going to keep the trains, the pattern of the trains going. However, there will be just one train up here beyond this point. And it will loop around. Not sure how far to loop around, but it will loop around. The other one will go into these distribution centers. Let's see from here. Now, there is a road here. I do want to have an offshoot of the road from here to come out and come into here as well. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to use the other distribution center. I want the other one on the other side. Or I could put it on this side too. It doesn't matter too much. Honest. As long as they're connected to the building, it's fine. So it starts. Or actually, I could make it at the end. The light centers can be at the end. Yes. Let me... Put a road down over there. Industrial roads. Let's go with... I, will, I usually like to use one-way roads when it comes to industry. Two-way roads can be a little bit troublesome. Like, all these roads are one-way for a reason. I don't want anything turning left when they enter to exit the distribution port. So, for here, this can be... Yeah, this would be one-way. Honest. That is two-track space safe. Yes, it is. Just for decoration. Just for decoration. Let me do this. Use the oil fence. I do like these fences. They add a, a nice safety net. When it comes to really. Uh, now press that. This. I'm gonna put a fence on the outside of this railroad. Facing in the opposite direction. Do I have a uh, control I? Make the spiky part facing the outside. No person can climb in or else they get hooked. I like that. It's the fence behind the railroad. Continuing the roads, road layouts. Well, this could be a distribution center, to be honest, in the back. And then have this ascend into the upper deck. Upper deck. Does I will have to smoothen this out, but it can ascend to the upper side. Let me do that now. Arc one. Ascend to the upper deck.
They're using this? Yeah, they're using it already. What is that? Happy cow. Oil. They're all coming here already, which is nice. As long as a truck, a ship spawns, will be good. Using this. I'm actually going to use the slope rain. Bring this down. Lots. I'm going to use the. Let's go with the sharp one still. So, right click that, then left click to make it go up. I'm going to take off the sloping. Network anarchy. Just kind of just go up. Naturally. Using the quays, I'm going to divide these two areas together. This is the stone quay. It's the regular stone. Here, let's go like this. Down here. And just make it the same elevation. As the side. A nice division. And who knows? I, the train can come up here as well. The train will just have to make a little higher elevation before this point. It can't slope like a road. Let me put the train down. The train did place down next to this quay as well. I don't need the track that's bypassing everything. Let me put it to the ground. It makes more sense. Bring it all the way back. Right there. One. Now the other rail. This one will have to do something different. Going into the distribution center, which I think I might put over here instead. So... Distribution center can be facing the outside or the inside. I'm thinking of. Let's place down some buildings first. Now, warehouses. UPS. Let's go. Let's go with the smaller ones for now. Alongside this road. These ones are storage units. There are. There are ones that are on the, the industry tab, which are actual working units. People come here to work. That's 16 workers. Using the distribution center, they can connect together. Or, and they work together. So the train can come to this one. Now, in terms of how it's connecting, railroad crossing seems usable in this area. There might be too many trains that come here, but it's usable. I don't think too many people will take this road to ascend to this level. If they do, that won't be a problem, to be honest. I don't believe it to be a problem. Rural crossing should be fine. It should suffice. However, this is just an opinion. It might completely change when everything becomes real. I'm going to set this to go straight because I can't place them next to the quays because these guys doesn't like that, so... Go straight, go straight across. I curve around it. Just to straighten it up. Be nice if I can select the railroad. I just go on the bottom side and do it. Over here, press it. I didn't do that. Not that. Oh, you're gonna be stubborn. There it is. It's not it again. Oh my goodness. Is that it? This is it. There we go. Bring this forward. Make it a little bit of a natural curve. The lower speed limit rather than that curve. Here. You're going straight. Let's go straight up to this point and just turn slightly. Not too much. Gonna be stubborn, I see. Please, 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 I hate you, plays with a passion. Uh, select you, please. There we go. Okay. 
Oh gosh, not again. <laughs> I think that's it. Good. Okay. Perfect. Connect. I think this come there. Now this will be a little bit iffy. I could just turn this into a bridge to avoid this. I'm gonna do that. This cannot turn so sharp. This can turn slightly into this area. Set this track down. I'm going to ignore this little divot. There's nothing here, to be honest. There's no water in here, so I can just fill that land up. This can come across to here. This can be a railroad crossing. This will go all the way up to the front. Uh, I'm not sure if I want this to be a railroad crossing, however. I feel like this one will have a lot of traffic. Because it is an offshoot from here to here as well. But this can be a dip. This can dip. I'm going to just bypass this completely. Nodes around there. Set this to curve. This can be a bridge. Not... Let's go with something a little bit shallow. A shallower bridge. Which is this one. Must be blocked there. This, this one right here. This one is shallow. It does have power lines, which I don't want, but I can't really turn oh, can I turn it off? I think I can actually. I can. Oh, cool. Okay, good. Perfect. This one has a lower clearance. So the road doesn't have to dip as deep as it normally would. Compared to like, if I did this one, it would have to dip because it's so deep. One saves a lot of space, it saves a lot of clearance. But using that, I'm going to set this node from there. 6.3 is fine. I have no complaints with 6.3. The road anyway, it's fine. At this point, let's get an offshoot from this highway. Branch off, come around, and kind of weasel its way right into this portion. A little bit closer though. From here, and weasel its way in. This can be fixed, just move it a little bit. Like that. And just like that. Pretty in there. Now, here, let's do this. I'm going to put a separate third lane over here. Open this up. Bring this down. This can be a bridge from this point on, just to avoid that cool looking thing. Two lanes go straight. Or even two lanes go straight, but one turns, this one just turns in this direction. This might be the orientation. Here, and this goes there, and this goes there. This might be the orientation, just for the inside, inside core. Who knows, I might actually, might change this building, I might move this building just to add industry buildings, but not sure yet. Uh, this, Colossal ore. no, that'd be bad, bad idea. I'll leave that the way it is. I will put stuff in here though, in here, industry buildings can be in this zone. There's a lot of space, and there is 4x4 grid that can fit in here as well, or 8x8 I guess. Let's not go too far out. Around here is fine. Across here. Center. I want to avoid two lanes. Let's revert this. This is the exit ramp. Exit ramp can start from here. This, they can loop. So if they want to turn around, they can. Turn around, come down, go through their buildings, their factories if they have to, and then come back up and exit. Or. This can be an exit lane too as well. Come through here, 
exit over here and decide to come up here if they wanted to. Just have to go through a railroad crossing, which is fine. This connects back up to here. They're very deep incline. It'll come back up. Let's go from 20. Let's just set it back up to home. From there, and just curve this point. Set this to curve from back here so it's a little bit more convenient. 4.4, perfect. Set this to slope back. It's good. Good slope. This go back from there to make it zero and just change the slope altogether. Now, this is a dilemma. Uh, I could move this water source completely. There is no water source here, actually. Where is the water? It's just the ocean. Okay. So you know what? I might take over this land because this train is here. We want to have more of these buildings placed alongside here. So I might want to destroy this land or just take over this land. I'm going to do that. We'll make it look a little bit natural still, but just not as natural as it was. Continue from up here. Let's go from this spot to that spot. There will be some flooding, but it's fine. Take away from there, and then that should be enough space that I need for this portion. Speed it up with the water flooding out. It will mess up my roads when I place them. There's water in the way. Let me see how they use this. Run around. I don't want them to do that, though. I don't want them to stop. I want the lanes to be freed. So let me do this. I'm going to put this as three lanes. Three lanes, one goes straight, two lanes turn. Okay, one goes straight, two lanes turn. It looks like most of them will turn out of here and take the highway, so this lane's turn, this one turns, this one goes wider. Also, yeah, they should stop stopping each other. They should just go. The trip come? Oh, there's so many people? Good. That's a way to save, uh, prevent this, though. I want them to take. This lane to turn go straight, but not not that outside lane for some reason. I don't know why they would do that. That's what I want to see. Around and come back this way. Good, water's cleared up. Nice. Here, let's take this away. Take this away. I'm gonna still make it an office building, however. It will be on this side, so it is five long. Five long? Thank you. Guesstimate. Industrial. I'm gonna make these two ways. Right here is a place, so let's see that. Right there. And just place buildings alongside here. I'm gonna make this a railroad crossing as well. So right alongside here. It isn't long enough. I guess the more you know. But let's make this a real crossing. Five feet. Yeah, this is the problem with water. It increases your elevation for some reason. Water's still there. This pocket, I guess. Get rid of this. All the water. Don't see any water. The real crossing. I'm going to change this track. I want it to be the same design as the other tracks. So freight trains as well, they use station tracks, so you could use any station track. In this case, I'm going to use wood, ground, doesn't matter what elevation, as long as it's wooden and ground with no wires. Uh, ground, 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 uh, two-way, two-way, I, I must be blind. This one. What's up, Snackosaurus? Today is industry day. Prepping myself for the industry buildings that are to come. I'm just prepping the land. I'm not sure if I'll have time for the hotels, to be honest. This this one took a lot more time than I thought. But it's coming along. Areas 
getting there. Truck. Just for your layout of your city. I remember uh, one person came in stream once. They sent me a whole map of somebody's city that they built. It made me cry. <laughs> That's good. Layouts, layouts of a city. I always like doing those. They're relatively fun. Just laying everything out and then seeing where you want it to go. Eventually, it'll change repeatedly because I don't like the way it looks sometimes, but. It comes out nicely, usually, most of the time. As long as you got a good grid. Always nice. I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing here, but I'm making a different layer. Think of it like a, how trains kind of go into different warehouses and different buildings. I was doing that here. Same here, I'm gonna unlock this. Lock this. I'm going to select the track that I'm looking for it. Round, right? Where is that blue space? Uh, actually, let me unlock this back. I want this to be as long as possible. Also, not taking up too much space on the cross. This can go as back as possible. Back as possible. Let me stretch this a little bit more. Much. That's fine. In this forward. In that forward. Great. Same here. Back. Back. Where we find the way it was. But, yeah. That's fine. I can just cover that with sand. Or gravel. Lock them back. I should do the same thing. I've did it once. I've done it once, but I've done the mistake with having mods on at the same time, so it kind of crashed. The next time I, if I were to make an entire place, entire land, I'd have to disable the mods, but I'd do it. I've had many cities that I've drawn that I want to make a map for, and then remake my city that I drew in my map. Well, I have like a whole drawing book next to me of cities that I've built or that I've drawn. I kind of want to make a map. Just that and do exactly what I see in my drawing. I want to see how traffic handles in that. Mass Transit DLC is really useful when building a map, to be honest. Big. I could use... Ooh, wait. I do have uh, containers. They're parks for some reason, but they're containers nonetheless. They are... They don't snap. I wish they kind of snapped. But... They could be placed in a park area. Strange. These are just... Assets that just sit around, which are nice. I could just copy them around, I guess. And yeah, these are nice. I think I'll keep these. I mean, set them in place so they fit somewhere. That... Copy them around, both of them. So right in the middle. It's a lot. Kind of a lot. <laughs> Let's get one that's useful, that can actually be used. Like these, these can actually be filled up with stuff. Uh, let's place them around. Let's put two in here and up in there. They're only too wide. Okay, that's fine. Bring this down. Bring this down. Bring this down. Bring this down. Um, this could be... This, this is fine situated here. I guess maybe... No, I can't do that. It'll be one less. But let's fill this with sand. I don't want to get too much of the... Gravel done, but 
fill this area with sand. Fill in the tracks with sand. Fill this in. Take it away as I go. It can be filled in completely. Bother with that. One track comes into a detour. Hopefully a train isn't coming here already. Next step. Uh, let's see, next step. Uh, I could begin to touch the top area. Um, let me fix this real quick. These are higher slopes than the quay, which I don't like. But it needs to start from a lower elevation to begin with. So it needs to start low and come up high. In this case, the quay can actually start at a lower elevation as well. Kind of rise with the railroad. Let me set the end points. Set the end point here. So this is where it'll be leveled out. Place this there, set that down, level it out from there, here. Now the quay can match that as well. Match this point and rise up that point. Right about, right about there. I could put a node over there. Let me, let me put a node here so it's even. So it matches up right there. And so it's nice and holds correctly. This track will then go into here. Oh, these two. So let's. I am kind of concerned about how I'm going to get the railroad over here, but I'm not going to let that. I'm not going to think about that too much. I think too hard, then I kind of mess up and erase things. Let's turn this over in this corner. This from here here. This can be an offshoot from this track, so I'm not gonna force it to run into this. So let's put it right here and go straight into here. And just paint it up. Wait will let me. Oh my goodness. Not too much. A little, same here. Much back a little. So pull this forward. It is not on right incline. Easy to fix. Bring this down to this height. You're not on the right incline. What's wrong with you? Wait. Oh. That's fair. Make this come from there, make that come from there. This one will come onto the edge. This one will multiply. But this one will exponentially multiply. Multiply exponentially. That's a better way to say it. So let's start like this. Uh, I do want this area to be filled with track. Where... Um, let's start next to the highway. That's never a bad start. Go well, from here to here. Beginning at this point, it'll multiply. From this portion, going forward. Everything will branch off of this. But I will use the parallel tool to make everything come off of this. Or, it might be better to make it all single track as well. Single track will come out from, will outshoot from... This portion. Is that... I don't want wires. I want no nodes and no wires. This one. So this is a big gap. Might be too big of a gap. So I'm going to bring it closer. Some of them will have a gap. I might put like a little road in between these tracks. Just to make it resemble like a truck and drive through here. I don't know if I'll put a railroad crossing. To be honest. It'll 
be kind of redundant with the yard, so I'm just going to make a path. Let me do that now, so I don't have to mess with it later. I'm going to use a dirt road. Plain dirt road. It kind of resembles it. It'll allow for easy traffic, or easy easy looks. The peel won't be too drastic, because the path is gravel, so dirt is fine. Make it come down. No railroad crossings between here. It'll look normal. Uh, let's see. This one go there. So starting the parallel tool. We're going to parallel across up to here. Uh, let's bring it back by one. And hold sh shift or control. Yeah, shift minus or plus. And bring it back. That brings it back too far. Right up to, right up to there. Let's just keep going with the plus tool. So plus, uh, how far is a part? Is that twenty parts? So, parts the next one. The real question: They're an odd number of parts. Okay, this one was that one was just unnaturally farther apart. So thirty-four. So there, forty. 48, 57, or was that 56, 52. There is a road right here. From this point, I'm going to just uh, skip it a little bit. But I'm not going to put a railroad crossing on this road. I'll make the trains act like, I'll make the trucks act like they kind of surpass that distance. I guess to make it look more realistic, let's... Elevated, I believe it'll elevate over. Yes, like this. This is perfect. To resemble a railroad crossing look without a railroad crossing. Just elevate it once. I'm gonna do that with the entire ray of this road. All the nodes just to do it at once. Just bring it up. So it resembles a railroad crossing, but it's not a railroad crossing. That should be good. can pass over this, no problem. Everything's fine. I'm starting to get to a point where it's covering this portion. Seven, again, going across. More, I might have pressed enter twice there. That might be bad. Let's see if I press enter twice. Hopefully I didn't. Good, okay. Right there. That's good. Uh, this could be enough space. Could be more. Let me stop here for now. In this back, reduces by one. I'm gonna put the double track as well. The double track will be the last track at the end. Make it a little bit farther away from the rest. Here, put a railroad crossing on this one. This one is mostly used. This one a train might drive on, so let's put an actual railroad crossing here. Not on the other ones. These ones could just have stop signs, I guess. I'll put in a prop stop sign or like a prop railroad crossing sign. R2. R2 sign. I don't know the name of the actual sign, but railroad crossing. There it is, real crossing. Just a regular sign. Nothing too drastic. Uh, make it face this way. Face the left and right roads as well. Autosave, okay, good. That's been a while since the last autosave. Two hours. I would have, if I crashed, I would have cried. I did too much stuff. The 
fast auto save. Ooh. This will continue to go forward. This one might be the railroad to the airport, to be honest. I'd rather the look... Well, maybe. The look of either the outside of trains moving or the look of the inside trains moving. Maybe I can make it a one-way track, to be honest. Um, prevent trains from actually spawning or moving in here. You could just set it to one way. One way on one side, but one way on the other side. Make them incorrect. Like, say one way on this side, but one way on this side. They can't... However, this symbol will be in my way the entire time, which I would hate. Maybe if I did this. One way here, one way here, but make it a two-way. Yeah, that'll... That'll prevent them from spawning in here. Make it one way on one side, one way on the other side, but make it a opposite direction on each end. That'll prevent the trains from driving in this area. Nice. So we continue this side. Um, I don't know if I want offshoots off of this track or this track. Usually, I take a certain portion. So maybe this upper portion can take it from this track. This lower portion can move down here. Single track as well. Single track. I'm down here. Caveman talk. Caveman. Straights. Straights. The nodes will fix themselves once I open. Well, they won't fix themselves. I'll have to manually move them, but I'll make them operate a lot smoother than this. And this portion can run into this one. Let me finish moving this one up, actually. You can go there, there. They can run straight into it. Then remove the end piece. That wasn't the end piece. I was just on the road. Okay. Okay. Just like this. Gotta fix each one. I just gotta click each one. Let me start. Let's start from the bottom. Click each one. Fix each one. I'm just gonna activate them for now. And I'll go back and move them. This should be. Okay. To fix these, you just want to pull them to their maximum limit where you think they would be. Pull this back. Pull this forward to its maximum limit. Pull this back. It will look a little off, but best way to do it. Here, let me pull this forward again. Here, pull this forward until the green shows up. I only want green, I don't want red. Red causes problems with the nodes. Or the trains, I guess. But nothing's gonna drive on these tracks, but still. No. But I'd rather you know red than get weird nodes. Could bring these forward to make them look a little bit better. The track looks like it curves a lot better than making a sharp turn. So just bring these forward. This one is a little troublesome. Here, that's fine. Let me turn red. And the last one. I'm not sure. What are you? Wait, what is this? Oh, okay. This one is going to be brought forward. That's how you fix those. They will look a little off. I guess you could say there's no ties between here, no railroad ties between here. They will be filled in with sand, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Now this one, there's two tracks. This one is a little bit, a little bit more uncomfortable to do. It is still possible.
down. My goodness. This one's a lot more uncomfortable than that. Go through and click them. So this one. You hear it? Listen closely. It's the sound of refreshment. I want them to be a little bit more exposed to this. Pop soda refreshment. This out. Pop soda. Belch the best. Was this more? Don't you want money open? For yeah, you do. Watch the cat. Same here. Bring this more open. Anyone who wants it can have it. You just have to ask for it. Our three-day sleepaway camp is the perfect place to strike it. And as well. Bring this one open a little bit more. About to there. And bring it in. That in. Oh, I like that. Yeah, bring these in. Bring these in. This offer is just for you because you this should be good. Come alone. So don't wait. The early bird catches the word. Oh, that's fine. Far apart. Yeah, this is fine. This is good. Fill this in with sand. I can not see those weird blank spots. Let's see how it looks if I were driving down the side. Love your show, Carolyn. That's like a large, just a large port. That's all I'd see. How would it look if I were? Oh, yep, that's a bump. I don't like that bump. This bump is kind of hideous. That's better. That's a lot. This actually worries me. I might have. A lot of vehicles might enter this build, this facility. That's already a lot of trucks coming through here. Just all at once, all coming here. That's a little worrisome. Just for this, these two. Hmm. Imagine four more. I guess five more. Increase the speed limit here, just in case. 25 is a little slow. 40. Same here. 40 over there. And nothing's here yet. So I need to unlock these roads and place my own. This turn, that's on. And that's already a lot. So this is what I mean. You want to go from right to left because the trucks will enter in from the right and exit to the left. If you did it from the opposite direction, it would be a nightmare. They drive all the way around just to come back here, but they want to come back out and interrupt each other. It's awful. So you always want to make your one ways going in that direction. I'm not sure if I'm mirrored or not. Upper level. Now, upper level, I plan to just have warehouses. How they enter, I have no idea. But... Let's let's plot down the tracks first. I worry about that. These are parallel to here. They're really close to the side. About there. Good. And same thing for the other side. So here isn't close to the side because there's only one track on this portion but when it makes this curve I'll divide it in two this point forward there'll be two tracks why because this one will do similar to this track it'll kind of run right into warehouses kind of like this so this will be placed on the opposite side of the road like it'll be placed if it rolls down here, that's how it'll be placed, and the tracks will just kind of run into it. That's for the purpose of this track. There's a warehouse. I'm trying to resemble... This needs to be placed down. I'm trying to resemble... Old historic New York City. That was one place that I didn't get to yesterday, actually. I forgot to talk about. Old historic New York City, when it came to their industrial needs. Demands for industry. That was the way, I'm pretty sure that's still the way most things are in place, but that was just the way I remember it. It's on a hill. 
No way, it's always those always randomly spawn. So to begin, start by placing the road alongside here. Industry roads go still with one way in the left direction, right direction in this case. This will be too close to the road crossing. This building is close. I could drag this down, to be honest. This could be moved. Let's go a little bit further down. So let's go from here. I think we're just right next to the railroad, to be honest. Just for space. No, I can't do that. The train's need to turn, so one block away will be fine. I can't put it that close. Right here is fine. Warehouse is gay long. This is already sticking out. However, if I do this, how long is it? Good clearance. Good. Okay. However, it'll still be the problem of this node being too close, but I don't think that's a problem, actually. Almost at 50 follow. Ah, uh, well, I try not to look at things like that. I just stream for fun, to be honest. But. Nice to have 50 followers as well. It's nice to even have seven of you here, to be honest. So, ooh, hmm. You're gonna bother me. You know, let's, let's, I'm gonna try. Let's try to work with that. This is a really sharp curve. I'm gonna try to fix this. This can connect to there. Distance too short. No, I know you can. You can. Make this turn into here. What's the plan? Or it might be the better plan. Rotate this sideways. That might be the better plan, to be honest. When the warehouse comes out for the freight train, I might use that instead of this up here. It is a smaller, it might work better. And it is a dead end. I believe it was a dead end. Like this one, this one isn't a dead end. It goes right through. I kind of want one with a dead end, to be honest. So I might wait for the warehouses to put them up here. Let me continue to go forward. I'm gonna keep this road in here. I'll keep this here. I'm not going to be bothered by the node being too close. I believe. I hope they stop. I don't think they will. These nodes are way too close. Yeah, they won't stop. They'll run right past this if a train's coming by. I'll keep this there. They will stop on this side, which is good. This, can be, this is already opened up. This could make a dead end, but it wouldn't make sense. So I want to make it come back. Now, so make it come back. This side can actually come back to this track. Making more space over here. Maybe even having another yard making a dead end on this side for the freight trains as well. Having a portion where the trains go straight. I cannot go over this. This is a really tall hill. This might have to go under, underneath the station. Or I could make the trains come over here actually and make this bridge over do that as well however i want to avoid making any trains all the way up in this area i could put it back here but not up here having them pass through this mountain maybe on the outside like ride along the outside and pass underneath the bridge kind of make my way over this marshland into this field into the cargo airport hello savvy games this is the cargo port for so far it's in there. Honestly, I don't think I'll finish today. This might take longer than I thought. Uh, removing this road. Don't need this one. Not yet. The cargo airport will come after this industry port is finished. Once I do that, then I can make a cargo airport, which will connect the train to this area. Once everything over here is 
fully connected. Good work. I'm just thinking of... Okay, let me place down the industry buildings that I want to put down. So, starting with the electronics factory. Then this one. The soft paper factory. Nice one. I have the meat one down there. The sneaker, sneaker factory. Actually, I don't... Good placement down here, to be honest. Nice fit. The car factory, this is? I did I place the car factory already? No, I didn't. Okay, car factory, let's put that over here. And a whole bunch more. From printing press. Printing press can be easily fitted right here, to be honest. Not sure if I want this on the main road. I might want this tilted on the side. But it does leave a gap of space. It could go on the main road. I'm I won't have a problem with it to be honest. On the, these aren't even connected. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize. Why did it connect like that? This is a one way. No no way back. That's the thing with this cargo port. I should make a way back. Maybe this will be a one way going backwards. Maybe up here will be a one way going backwards since cargo ports. If I want my cargo trains to enter, it'll always have to be from right to left. This one might have to be a one way going this way. This one might be inverted. Maybe this one will go the opposite direction. Maybe. I will see for now. We'll see for later, I guess, when the day comes out. This might be the orientation. What else? What other factories are there? The lemonade factory. Lemonade. You know, I could fit there. This, however, you know, I uh, just to remove that glitching. Let me just move it slightly, very slightly. I can't be mad. They'd be fine if they were jumbled together. I be honest, they kind of jam between here. No, this is fine, in my opinion. Boy factory. Boy factory cannot fit in here. Can fit up here. Can fit in here. I'm not sure about this area, though. I might want to put some industry buildings over here. Like, just plain industry buildings. Right in here. And what is this? Household plastic. That can go easily anywhere. Let me place this here for now. This is the furniture factory. Furniture. Next to the sneaker. Not a bad idea. And the bakery. Bakery tends to go in the city, to be honest. I usually... What is this traffic? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? I leave for two seconds and you do this? Where are you going? Glass eye. Is it a game day? Is that why... If it's a game day, that's understandable why there's traffic. Yeah, it's a game day. We're all going to the game. That's understandable. I could... That's fine traffic, to be honest. And X-Match. And... A few months. Same here. Next match. A few months. So they're getting ready to come here, which is nice. They're going to come here. They're going to take this tunnel. I made this new exit. So it's easier. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is easier. They used to go through the entire city just to come through here, which was really bad. They would block a lot of lanes. So I kind of made this little ramp on the side. I'm going to extend this down further when I get here, but this little ramp was made for the game. But teams, they really like this exit. I don't think I'll miss anything, but they're going to find parking. Good. I think I built this parking lot. And we're going to try not to use, like, the complex parking lots, like the big ones. Uh, like these parking lots. We're going to try not to use parking lots, like buildings. I'm going to try to just make parking lot roads. I mean, I should see what the mall is doing. I mean, they are using the... They like this one more, I guess, than any other parking lot. They do 
They do like these. They do use these. I put a parking. I put a crossroad here, so they can cross between traffic. Between traffic over here. Surprise! Taxis aren't coming here yet. Nobody. Nobody in business. Oh, there's one. There they are. Never mind. Too soon. They're gonna park in the taxi stand. Nice. Always nice to do. Everything is being used. Trains, I did say, were going to be a problem in the future. I believe. Oh, it's 24. Okay, that's not bad. Everything's working out well. This is a turn lane, so they have specific times. Nine seconds to finish turning. So, however, I don't want that, what they're doing there. I don't want them to switch lanes at the last minute. That causes traffic. But it's nice. I like to see traffic on roads like this. A lot of cars. Things like this, I like to see. Even on the highway, I like to see traffic, to be honest. I don't like to see like an empty highway where nobody's using it. I like to see a lot of cars driving. There's always going to be a lot of cars passing between here. It's like the boundary line between the two cities. Good. Nice to see people going straight. Not often did they go straight from here, but since I placed everything on the end, yeah, they go straight past here. Good. Now for this area. First time I'm working in this area now, so people will start to go across the bridges this area. Uh, what else do I need to use? I think that's all of them. I'm going to not use the steel and not use... Uh, not use the... Uh, steel plant and the oil plant. I'm not going to use those. I'll use those in their respected area, which is the oil plants. That's where I'll use these. Everything else, though, they're rather indigenous to industry. Industry-like areas, like a cargo place will be, so that's where they're going to go over here. I could put the clothing factory on this side. I could have more than one clothing factory if I wanted to. Nothing stopping me from the sneaker factory. Wait. Did I not put a clothing factory down? Oh no, that was sneaker. What was clothing? Modu oh wait, this one. This one I'm missing. Modular household. That one can go somewhere in here. That's for sure. All the large ones will have to be in here because they're too big. They can't fit anywhere else. Now in terms of orientation of the roadways, I'm not sure. Actually, this is kind of smart, actually, and make this go backwards, because this road comes up from below. Make this one make a U-turn. The U-turn is impossible, though, because these two tracks are here. Let me move this out of the way. Let me just move it instead, so I can just grab it and drag it. But, I think... At some point, I'm just going to come straight across. There will be an exit to this ramp this highway ramp. So there's two entrances. One over here and one over here. That's the goal. I could even just make it from this road, to be honest. It might be the best option from this entrance, so that actually might be the best option. Have this road and exit or entrance onto this highway and just turn and just convert this into a highway ramp instead of a traffic light, I guess. That might be better way to go about this so kind of like make this go straight divide them like what i did here and to make them go straight and have exit right in the middle you know it's not a bad idea let me start with that actually divide it from here as well this portion be divided keep this portion going straight make them come together again same here. Get this here and then keep that. Keep this going straight. Have this portion run into here as well. Do this. This center lane will be an exit or entrance ramp onto this highway. So take away these. They will go back into these portions. Not far enough. Fine. 
do this for now and just do that for now and just train it up. Rid of that. Face the right way. This. Face the right way. Little off center. Let's uh, let's pull this down a little bit further. Same thing with this side. And just drain it out from there. And from here, I can keep the center lane. However, if I want this divided, I might want to divide this a little bit further. Like this side. This side's perfectly fine. Because then I could just have one lane road from this point and I come up to here and just divide from this portion. I go for the same spot. Like that. They divide each other and then they make an exit ramp onto this portion. This side goes above and this side goes. This side can stay there on the ground. This side just has to go above or below. Fixing them. Get rid of the nodes. In there. Touch it out. Just forward just a little bit. Make this curve just a little bit more. Make this three lanes. Last year, Get rid of this node. Three smashed PC sales records and took the industry by storm. Now the hit now, economic simulator has a new Let me do it from this side. Incorrect if I did that like that, but it would just look like this side has to do this, but this side has higher priority, which it shouldn't, but that'll be the way it is for now because this is really close. They're really close together. Same here. But that'll have more priority over the main highway. This, however, these two lanes, the main road, will merge together. Have less priority over hey, itself. Everybody. I was just reading up on some science stuff, and I these are on different hills. Let me plan these hills out. And you know, if it comes from science and it has magical power, with this one. This one can be the same height as this. Clean your body's energy. This one can stay on the ground. This one isn't going anywhere. It's really fascinating how all this stuff works once you understand. I have never heard that in my life. <laughs> you know, honestly, I've never even heard y'all must speak honest i don't even know what he sounds like i always just see him but i never really hear him let's make this one go over this one can go over this here and this one will descend Eh, that's a rather simple exit, but it gets everything done. In terms of how much lanes I want on this side, this side has to, has to be bigger. <laughs> In no way are you listening on how to become a millionaire. I think hmm, this side one lane is fine. I think one lane will be fine. This side, two lanes would be better. Let me get rid of this road. Don't need this here. Now here. I want to keep this large, to be honest. I want to keep this the way it is. Or I can't do that with this lane here. The impossible. Move something by accident. Yeah, it'll be impossible. Now, what I 
could do, which is the bad way, is to put a traffic light here. Have this portion always be green, but this portion will change at certain intervals. Do that though. Would be a little bit troublesome with traffic. I'm not sure for how long though. But it is manageable, I believe. I'm gonna try it for a while. I'll set it up with a time traffic light for now. But let's see how it goes. This is the hill. As long as the nodes are far apart. I'm gonna try it. Not often do I put a time traffic light on a highway like this. This side will always be green. I'm going to just ignore this side completely. Add a step. Always be green. This side is the one that will change. I don't want any turns. Always go straight. Same here. Always go straight. I'm gonna fix that. So, this is the main highway. I'm gonna give it the longest interval. So let's go 12 to 20. Green on this side. For here. This side might have a lot of traffic too as well. Trucks might come off in the yard. Let's go from... Let's go 10 to 18. Oh, it could change the interval. So say this one will have a very long green presence. It'll have a very long green as well. But this one's a highway. I'm going to leave this one as just very long. I'm going to make this one extremely long. And I'll start it there. The green on this side will always be 99. Keep that like that. These two will change. No pedestrian crossing, so... No pedestrian should be on this road anyway. In terms of lane management, it'll be normal. So two lanes go straight to their two lanes, respectively. Here, one lane will go into two. One lane will go up above as well. Now, in terms of layouts, two lanes go into one lane. One lane will go into two lanes. Find the color myself. Catch it. Up there. The go double solid. It's fine. The two lanes go straight. Come across like that. Across there. Across there. And come across. In terms of lines. Remove this edge and remove this edge. Pull it out, Chevron. Well, let's make it striped. I don't think it. Well, if I put a Chevron, I'm gonna invert the Chevron. So just invert this backwards. This Chevron will not be inverted. That's the way the orientation will go. I think that's the best way to put it for now. If traffic accumulates, I'm gonna get rid of this traffic light and place, like, actual highway exits, but this isn't a highway. It's meant to turn into a road with traffic lights up ahead, so... It's not an interstate, is what I mean. This can remain the same, so let's try this. I'm gonna set it to not block the intersection. I'm gonna see how this works out. Uh, speed limit is 50, 50. Change this one to 50 as well. 50 as well. I'm gonna put a line so I know where they stopped. Should stop. I'm gonna set this to triple speed. Then I'm just gonna let this go. This side will always be green, so they will always go. And to fix this problem, let's. Roundabout could be fine, but it's a little too small. A roundabout could work here. Honest. I wouldn't be mad at a roundabout idea. However, no, I can't put a roundabout. I have to make traffic turn. No matter what, traffic will turn. I don't want them going straight past here. Like this? Truck? I bet it's going straight. There you are. I don't want that. I want you to always turn. So to avoid that, actually... Let's force them to do that. One lane go straight, one lane turn. Forcibly forcing them, forcibly forcing, making them turn. I can do the same for here as well. Make this turn, just make it two lanes. Just convert this into the two lanes that it is. 
I have this yield. I have two lanes turn. That might be the best option in terms of a uh, highway ramp. This can be two lanes. No lane for a uh, extra lane there. So do that. I will get it. The concert's DLC. I think I'll make the space. If I were to use the concert DLC, I would use the space probably somewhere in this area because I do want to build some kind of smaller little city over here. I might put it in here. Most likely I'll put it in here. Uh, this is a two-way. Let's do this. Drag this down. Drag this down so they both match other. And they should together. It should make for a better intersection. Have this meet with this. Well, no. That's too much. Too much. Uh, this go here. I prevent anything from coming this direction. Uh, however, this does solve one problem. One problem is how do I get a vehicle to turn left? That is one problem. Um, okay, I might have to just do this instead. However, I don't think traffic lights work on this road as well. Yeah, they don't. They hate me. I'm gonna use Bob real quick and fix this light arrangement because I don't like this one for some reason. It just messes with me. Let me fix this real quick. So let's see, Bob. How's it going the single traffic light and fix these? So here, these needs to change. So I'm just gonna take the traffic light. Uh, this one will be the standard one traffic light. However, it is tilted at an angle. Set this to negative 90. Now, uh, what I could do, there are times when this becomes two lanes. Well, actually, let me set this into the longer traffic light. A little bit shorter, but longer. I believe it's 5. PLT 5. That's too long. Okay, 6. 7. 7. Ah, uh, let me just go for 1. <laughs> 1 seems nominal. Seems correct. And now for this one. Same side. I'm going to set the same thing. Just 1. That it's a negative 90, it should be just 90. So this one's 90. I have to do this for each traffic light going through. So this traffic light. Delete this one completely. I don't want to see that one. Same thing here. I don't want to see these two either. And that's it. Now everything should be correct. Good. I can erase these now. Hopefully when I restart the game, these don't disappear. But I want these two to turn. No matter what they turn. This one will always turn this direction. There's nowhere else to turn. Um, this... Great. I always want at least one right of way. And this will yield. So let me get rid of... Oops. Get rid of that. I'm gonna set this bridge to go a little bit longer. Middle. Custom. Them to go through the entire intersection. Maybe not this one. And this one will be set to yield. That should solve one problem. Nobody now should pass through this area for no reason. Unless they have to. So they should all go around now. We're gonna change. It's a little, a little sloppy, a little too long on this side, a little short on this side. But it does what it's supposed to do. It does what it's supposed to do. As long as it does that, that's fine. 
Oh, for this internal area? Hmm. Okay, so this, maybe they can come together. These two rows can come together. They divided at some points. They do have the same grid lines, I believe. So nothing should be wrong. Yeah, nothing's wrong here. So maybe at some point they come together, become a larger road that runs into this road. Or that will then meet with this portion right here. Maybe. I do need to think about trains and the space for these buildings while doing that at the same time, though. So I'll need some form of layout. Trains to get by here. This track might disappear, to be honest. This one will remain, and this one will remain. And same thing with this one up here. Only one of these will remain. Most likely, oh, there's two buildings in there. Most likely, this one will remain... This one will come to a close and end with this one. So let me... I'm going to find an end point for these trains. Before I do anything else. So say they come across. They bridge over this road. From there, they turn downward. This, and they descend over here. They go underneath this road. Underneath this railroad. Go across into this area. And go into the airport area. That's for there. These, however, I could just make one track go to the airport that would only be this one. However, it seems a little restrictive because I have no way of making a U-turn if trains from the bay want to go to the airport as well. So I do need a way for the trains to turn around, which could be a way. Maybe They could turn around from this point. So maybe if I built a train here, line from here, or just come across from here, go across the water, come along the side here. Maybe, maybe just maybe. A little difficult to see this going through. Maybe from here to here, not into here, but these are dead ends. This can't work. From here to here, maybe run into here, and then. Run into here, which will make a four-way division. Running across. Going there. I'm gonna try this. Four-way division. They should not connect at all. Make this go there. This cuts across. Oh, I don't want to cut across, though. I was gonna put industry building there, though. Uh, this one is tricky. This portion is tricky. Let me get rid of the railings. The... No, for that. This side is a little bit harder to close. What I could do, which seems really dumb, is to make a U turn at the outside over here, but that seems really dumb. Not. I could take advantage of this yard space, to be honest. I could, actually. Maybe. This is from the airport. I have the other external yard. So this one will disclose into here. Let's set an angle, maybe 30 degrees. Oh, 30 degrees. 30 from there to there. I did plan on having like an extra yard at the opposite side. However, these yards would be a dead end, except for maybe one track. A track that will come on the outside and kind of descend, go underground, come out through this side, and maybe maybe pop up from down here. Oh, they're already coming by. My goodness. They fit. I know they won't fit. This one definitely won't fit. Ah, it does fit. Good. Maybe something will descend underneath here across and maybe connect with this to be honest i might keep this one underground this one might go underground let's do that this one will go underground i'll put a quay right next to this one keep this on the same level that it's on but i'll make it descend further before i put a quay on this let me make this go underground so this is the idea a little bit deeper it'll go 
for turning into a tunnel at this point. A little bit straight. Put sending. Oh, I don't want to see the top anymore. Then go down. Turn up. We'll then run into this track. I think this might be the way. Run into here. 13 by 13. This might be the way. That the airport connects to the these tracks from this one right here now it would be nice if you could there we go from here to here there's a quay wall now, i'm gonna have a problem clicking this again no i don't here oh underneath again right here a little bit a lot better 1.9 is fine Descend into the tunnel while I put a quay on this side to like kind of hide it. There. Uh, yeah, from there to there. Bring it in. Hold shift to go further. Not by too much. Man, let's bring it a little closer to the tunnel itself. So. Right here. This quay is inverted. Um, jeez. Easy way to fix that is to... Again, force quay to invert. So, put this to the lower ground and then paint it. It should invert. As I go to update it again. Oh, you're not inverting. Oh, I hate you with a passion right now. Uh, but this is the idea that I wanted to do. This is the idea. With the wide scale, larger scale. Do this. And it might revert. Yes, might. Oh, did the same thing. Still the same. Let's see, what are you wrong with you? Is it because it's already low? Does it want a higher elevation? Probably on this side. Might want a higher elevation. Try this instead. Raise this portion up. What happens? You know what? It really bothered me, Road. Away. Set this higher. Invert if this is higher on this side. I place the quake here. Why am I in underground mode? Not from underground. See Jack. Do this again. There we go. However, oh, you're still like this. Because of the building, the sneaker factory. Trains use these a lot. You came to deliver straight to the straight to the furniture factory. If I do this again, this should sort itself out. Might sort itself out. Above ground, it's above levels, it should sort itself out. However, you won't. Why do you hate me so much? Oh, what's wrong with you? Please tell me what is wrong with you. If you'd invert, that'd be, that would make my day if you inverted. Let me straighten this out. I do want this to be a straight plateau. The other, into the underground. It needs to invert. This is really going to bother me for a while. It doesn't invert. Not doing it. Oh, let's set this to the ground. See what happens. This will be a quay stream. A stream where I do nothing but try to figure out this problem. Oh, 
Um, uh, no, please. You know what? Be like that. Try this again. Beat it this time. It should match. I hope you match. Oh my goodness. There's still a way to invert a quay, it'd be really nice. Yeah, this one should be set to lower. You know, let me go lower than the railroad. See what happens. If I set this tire to lower. It should. Without a doubt. Not fix itself. Round. Same heights. And again, slope it again. At least get up to this point. And maybe, just maybe. I don't know why it's always stubborn. Every this way is always. Please, I'm begging you at this point now. This side's normal. So, it's doing this because this side is higher elevated than the lower side, which is what I want. However, this side will not rotate. No, it should. It's higher elevated than this side. So, it should theoretically rotate. Now it will, because I made it ridiculously tall. I do something stupid, it does it now. <laughs> I believe you that this thing will be annoying to do, but okay, as, as long as it's good. Oh, that's true. <laughs> the opposite direction does work too. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. <laughs> but this is what I wanted to do. This will go underground. And then come out through the other side, from the opposite side. So these two might just end. They might also do the same thing that these lines will do. Make an entry into a terminal. Most likely, one of them will be a fishing port. So I wanted to make this one a fish island. Or maybe just in the corner. But one is mainly for fish. <laughs> That's the idea of oh, I have to extend this quay. I could just move it, but please don't do the same thing. Please, I'm begging you at this point. Oh, thank you. <laughs> don't want this to touch. What darkness is it? You could remove the darkness with Bob, but maybe in here it's warranted. I guess I'll leave it dark in there. Now, I do want some form of heating between these roads. I want them to at least touch reversal points, if you would. Maybe just to do this. Uh, let me put this back so it's... Let me do this. So at least they can turn around immediately without having to go deep within here to turn around. So rather an immediate turn... Let's make it no zoning, so let's put it as a highway road instead. Let's make it bend, so it's a little bit more easier to make a U-turn. Uh, one lane is fine, actually. No need two lanes. This is fine. Just set this to yield instead of abruptly purging. Now, factories. Um, this road 
is normal. I would rather I'd like to have this road here, but where does it go? I do not know yet. Nothing will go beyond this track. This is the main track to the airport, so everything will be beyond this track here. Now, entry space into this road most likely will be from here. Most likely a connection from here. Maybe at a point it'll come to a curve. Most, maybe. A lot of taxis take this because that's their taxi stands over here, so that's where they spawn from. They're going to the city to pick up people. I don't know why they don't go to the taxi stand instead, but... So the goal is to have just warehouses for these factory buildings. Specifically, I'm going to have them just sort of the right equipment. So, like, so if you hear plastics, glass, and metals, like, these warehouses would just have those kind of materials inside of them. Just so they have somewhere to go. And the trains can deliver there as well. They don't have to just go stay within the industry. Move that. I do not want animal products. Okay, none for now. I don't want any trucks spawning here yet. So the idea... That is the idea. So have this... Maybe face this edge. Um, In terms of this... This can be facing this road. It is large enough. Um, Bring this back over here. It is on a hill now, so I can't them next to each other more across and honestly I could bring the clay wall all the way across down here too and I think oh no let's not do that let's let's keep this as a hill yeah a steady incline I'll probably just put a fence over here. That'll probably be it. Keep this quite here, though. So, in terms of topography, topography is flat, which is good. On rails, I forgot. I can't put this here. There's rails here. So, I'll I'll think of something. Maybe I'll put a bridge. Us. Like a pedestrian path, but for cars. You're turning around, so they, do, they will use this eventually in the future. So, let me erase this for now. Oh, here's what I'll do. Maybe even put a road over here, like a bridge cross, and then kind of come across a portion. But let's get a large road, maybe a large road separating the two right here. Coming through. So let's stop right here, right in the pocket of this building. Uh, in terms of housing for these trains. I really... Yeah, I say Quay. I know a lot of people say Key, but to me, it's spelled Q-U, like question, so I say Quay. That's just English for some reason. I think... Well, I'm pretty sure it's just the country that it came from. It's pronounced Key. You always hear me say Quay <laughs> when I mean Key. <laughs> Quay just looks more natural to me. It's like the same for if you live in the U.S. I say Arkansas. Oh no, I say Arkansas. It's not pronounced Arkansas. It's, it's literally spells Arkansas instead of Arkansas. I hate that word. It's, it's stupid. I don't know why. Who came up with that idea to make it called Arkansas? This railroad, I don't know what... Railroad crossings seem like an option. I don't mind railroad crossings over here. As long as the trains aren't too long. Maybe this can keep going straight. For a little bit. Before it turns into a warehouse at some point. So, the good thing about this road, it's a restriction. It restricts vehicles from coming back down into the lower level, forcing them to use trains to enter this area instead of trucks. However, too many trains could be bad. Especially if I want railroad crossings. 
Rural costumes are nice. Really aesthetically pleasing. To watch the gantries go down and back up. But I might make this one come here. Just permanent here. And make this side do the same thing similar. Just go straight. Permanent somewhere. A factory. But these factory buildings can fit in these areas. There's a lot of space for them. Except for this one. This one is a little bit large. If it's sideways, though, it actually fits perfectly sideways. I might put this at the back, like in the back end, because I still want this road to be accessible from both lanes. So actually, this is an idea. Um, okay, so maybe this can be inverted. Forcing them to go up and around, but they have to come back down this road to come back here. This road... They can come back up. No, they can't. This is a basically a dead end. They can't do anything but turn around. I wish I had a four-lane industrial road or like a two-lane road that was wide enough to like fill this gap. That'd be nice. And I do have large one-ways, which actually not a bad idea, honestly. Large four-lane one-way. Work. No parking. Where is it? Uh, I must be blind. There's one. I guess I don't have the one without parking. Like something like this, though. A large one way is going down. Because they're both one ways colliding into each other. Going into this area. At the same time, accessing all these industry buildings. However, I still do want some regular industry as well to, to be placed. Maybe I'll just have little pockets for them placed around, like in here, maybe. So let's go near here and kind of like make some little branches. Go a little close to the way, a little bit. I'm going to go a little offshoot and just come down as well. I'm going to fill in this land uh, probably with as well i'm gonna fill in this land maybe not too much i don't want i don't want too much border but also enough border i mean border border would be but wouldn't be bad actually especially in the industry area uh, let's let's do that so this i'll go let's put the border all around here regular stone way going across all the way across here Let's, let's keep everything straight. I'm going to keep everything uniform. Curve when I have to. So like in here, definitely be a curve. It doesn't have to be actually. I could make it straight. Who knows? I could put fishing in here as well. From this point, this point. And go straight. Everything could be relatively... Relatively inorganic. However, it just won't be even. It won't look right, but it's... Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's do this. I'm going to erase this. I'm going to just follow... I'm going to bring back the water where it should have been. I'm going to give back some of their land. I'm going to go straight across here. I'm going to take away this dirt and bring it back to water. Go across here. And just go as close as possible to this road without messing it up. Bringing back, I'm going to give back all the land that I took away from this area. However, this area, hmm, let me fill this area in. I don't think I'll, I don't think I can take away more space in here. I mean, I could, but I feel like it'd be, oh no, well. All right, I'll give it a try. As close as I can to this road. Turn away from it. Let 
Let me give it a shot. There will be some flooding again, but... Set it to this one. I want it to be... Too these stone walls will be a little bit much. I'm not the ocean fill its way back in. The ocean fill back in where it should have been filled in. Oh yeah, I definitely will not have time to finish this at all. Might have to depart soon. The end stream soon. Maybe... Let's go for... Let's go up to 340. 340 should be enough time. In the sun, then it'd be a little bit better. Give me a nice border. Fine. Here too, nice. There's a pocket of water in here, which I can get rid of. While I'm here, let me discuss the plan for this week. So, DOC and the update's coming out tomorrow, the 22nd. Is it the 22nd or 23rd? I think it's the 22nd. Uh, I will take tomorrow off, because tomorrow, if the update is tomorrow, let me just make sure. Oh, it's the 23rd. Oh! Okay, that's fine. Maybe I'll take Tuesday off instead. If the update's coming out tomorrow, or Tuesday, then Tuesday, well, Monday I'll stream tomorrow. Tuesday I'll take off if the update's coming out. I want the mods to be up and up order, so... Before I reload this game again and something bad happens. Wednesday... Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Those are the days that I'll stream. Monday at 7.30. However, and same thing for Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard. Same time as always. And I don't stream on Friday. And Saturday is a, one of those random days when I don't know what time I'll stream. Same thing with Sunday. But I always update all the times on my about page. Right to anyway. What do I do for this though? This really is troublesome. I can't have this. This will have to go across. This Seems like my only option, to be honest. Well, 14, let's do more. It's gonna be 11, isn't it? It'll be 10. 10 to 14, you know, that's not bad. At least to middle. Together, and then get rid of this node, and get rid of this node. Should link up now. Link up correctly. So there it is. Hopefully, too many trains don't pass on this road. This road is kind of important. Uh, 
think a lot of people will come this way. Eventually, a lot of cars will come this way. Not now. Being said, this way... I don't know where this road will come from. This road might... Oh, now that I look at this, I forgot one entrance to the upper level. Maybe I can just make a ramp all the way up and come across. Or it won't. Maybe this side won't connect to this portion at all. Maybe it'll connect to this lower level as well. I think that might be the best option if it connects to just the lower level. That's where this one lane will come from. Just this highway. And maybe even from this portion. I don't, I don't think I can see it. Maybe this portion can come across and Brit. Maybe this portion can come across and bridge its way over onto this one where it can then connect with this one. That's, that's also an option. But it doesn't matter because they will come from this side anyway. So it doesn't matter. I'll just make this side only this side. I guess it will matter eventually. I'll notice it when I see the traffic, but if there's no traffic and nothing to worry about, then I'll keep it like that. This will run into this. Trains are already coming. They're going too fast. How is it going so slow here? That's why it's going slow. This. Too fast. I don't want anything speeding beyond here. Picture speed to. Go 40. This curve. 30 on this curve, because this curve is kind of sharp. Restrict your speed to 40. In here, just restrict it to 40. It will block this road and stop. If they turn around, that's fine. Wait. Distribution center. Real life. Wait, did this shrink? The train came from here. Oh, it turned around. I forgot they could do that. It was just, this train is just going back and forth. Going back to the dual trans transport hub, and then it's going to come back over here somewhere. This next to here. going to bridge over. So they're going to rise at the same elevation. Can't rise for too long because I do want it to descend under here. Or even under this platform. Make a tunnel, maybe. So at least rise up to at least 30 something feet. Hello again there, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, two tracks are fine. I don't need four tracks here at all. Standard. I always use this one. Let's go with something else. Something nicer like this one. It does have does have uh, wires. Okay, maybe just because of the wires. I don't want wires. Maybe I just have to go with this one because I can take away the wires. Cross all the way into the field of nothing. I guess it's pretty normal for people to hop around crosswinds and start playing tricks on them. Just have to be careful. This is Shoreline Radio, and I'm your host, Carolyn Shine. Here is a little bit tricky because it will be elevated, but this road is too close to the bridge. So it'll save.
this is a little elevated. Um, it is too close to this road, so we'll make this ugly line. Well, not actually that bad. I mean, this is a concrete base, which... Well, it's not bad, honestly. Just the jagged bikes on the side is a little bit annoying, but... Not bad. Maybe I'll continue. I'll I'll use something to cover it. There are a set of. Let's see if I can find it. I think it's under fence. A retaining wall. Where is it? Bees. Retaining wall. Rail yard. I'm going to be honest. I have no. I could not, for the life of me, get the diagonal ones to work correctly. Like, sure, I can use them, and I can bring them down, however... I mean, I guess they work here pretty nicely, actually. But... I want them to kind of act like a way in, like, the fact that they remove the dirt behind it. Like, I don't want to see... I don't want to see the gap space between. But I mean... I don't know if there's a way to make it go away. But this wall does look nice. This is a retaining wall. This one? This is a retaining wall. You mean like... Oh, you mean these. I think these ones are a little... Strange. I believe so. They're a little... I mean, these do work. Actually, let me try it. You caught me when I'm about to leave in... How much minutes? Seven minutes. <laughs> That's when I end stream. But well, welcome back. Wait, this one does work actually pretty well. A nice smooth pattern going up and across. That's this one's not bad. <laughs> Except for this end. This end is yeah, this is the finicky part that I was talking about where it does this little portion. I don't think I could fix it. But, actually, I don't mind. Actually, this one can be converted, to be honest. This one can become a quay. Terraforming the network. What do you mean by terraforming the network? Yeah, every time I delete them, they do act up. All act up if I just erase one. Let me. I'm actually gonna try. Like. Terraforming the network. You mean like just, uh. Just kind of messing with it like this? It does bring up that side, but the other side, that's the problem. How do I make this look a little. A little straighter. Oh, it's an asset. Oh, okay. Okay, let me... I'm gonna workshop real quick. I see. Which one do you use? Do you use the extended pack or just the standard one by Ronnie X X9?
both rated at five stars. So they're both, one is just a little outdated, I guess. And so I guess Ronnie is not here anymore. this I think this might if I could see behind that yellow bar that'd be nice really nice if I could see behind that I'll lower this down a lot more assuming to the ground okay Oh, it's a lot taller than I thought. A lot shorter than I thought. Like the entire thing, just drag it up. Bring it up. That height should be fine. Actually, wait. This is just fine how it is. Actually, just fine. Is this to be honest? You'll break box office records. Yeah, this is fine. You take a trip to Tinseltown Movieville, USA. Action, cut quiet on the set. Our theaters feature millions of Jordan fans. Back to that point. Bring this back to this point. I fitted that. It seems a little long. So let's let's why not just add that. Ignore that. Add this as well. Ignore that. Liars. And usually, I don't often do this, but let's make it have a base on the bottom, just to give it a nice look. On this side, this will connect with this portion. Uh, most likely, I want it to connect before. However, it might be back here it connects to. It might be from back here. I might need two bridges going up over across. Could make it parallel to this one until this point, and then it keeps going straight. That might be the way to do it. But that being said, let me end here. This is the industry port, lower deck and upper. That's where time goes fast when you're using the in this game. Let me stop here. I'm going to find someone to throw you guys at playing this game. I see that Scotty is live. He usually does he might be ending now, to be honest, but me if he's he might be ending now. Yeah, he might be ending now. He's destroying a city with natural disasters. Maybe that's a bad idea to send him over there. Well, let's go back to Flybox. I was watching Flybox the other day, so let's go back to him. I'll send you guys over there. Again, I thank you guys for coming thanks for the follow remote as well hope you guys have a great day i will see you guys tomorrow 7 30 that's when i'll be back again by spencer okay i remember that i'll be back tomorrow 7 30 p.m eastern standard we'll start and you guys there. Let me say before anything bad happens, I'm doing this. And with that, I send you adieu.